You retired. I'm gonna you gotta re retire. I'm gonna retire right now. Do it, faggot. <laughs> Chris, well, we gotta. You used an we old. Gotta, we got a memer over you here. You used an old meme appropriately. <laughs> the memer. Wendy's anticipating I'm, that that's is, a meme. I am impressed. What's yeah, the meme? it was that whenever somebody on 4chan would say they were gonna kill themselves, everybody would post images of like cartoon characters smiling really big, and they would say, "Do it, faggot." I was just saying it because you're a gay guy. <laughs> you're a little gay me. There they go. A gay man. Gay man. Oh. Julian, Julian can, I, can I tell a story about the time where I was Why like- Why does only he survive? Julian. Yes, tell. Where I was like, Julian, are, are you fully gay? And you were like, no. I was like, really? You were like, yeah. I'm like, so you're bi? And you were like, yeah, I think so. And I'm like, so you like pussy? And you're like, no. Well, I don't. <laughs> yeah, right, so what? But then you're gay. <gasps> I like boobies too. But would you suck a boob or would you just feel it? Would you get horny? Probably both, yeah. Okay, then, okay. Then fair enough. I don't think any- Oh, am I dead? Like, is that but the what, last what one? What if her clit shot out and injected itself into you? <laughs> <That> would... <laughs> <laughs> like in Slither. <laughs> I just slug the cross and shoots a little thing. <laughs> it comes out really quick and pierces your heart. Uh, I would die! <laughs> I would go- oh, 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 oh. Yes. Gay lover, dude. <laughs> gay lover. <laughs> okay, that's what it looked like. <laughs> no, it didn't. It did. <laughs> what do you think of hidden springs and trees? Whoa! How oh, it's amazing. Chris, what? What was the first concert you ever went to as a little infant? Tenacious D. Really? I've really? only ever been to two. Did concerts. you say Kyle Gass like shit by accident? <laughs> <laughs> no, he he glinted his uh, <laughs> his guitar pick right at my face, and then he shit. He said a big fucking piece of shit rolled down his leg. <laughs> he went, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he didn't do so that. That's mine. Excuse it's me. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> no, I love Kyle Gass and, and also Jack Black. Oh! Also known as the oh. band Tenacious D. But uh, th that was the only concert I've ever been to. No, I've been to two concerts, and they've both been Tenacious D. You ever, you ever see like a stand of comedian live? Wait, are you going to the Tenacious D concert in December? Uh, nah, I've seen them too many times, I'm kinda <laughs> sick of it. I went to the- their post-apocalypto movie premiere recently and met him. Oh yeah, I saw that photo of you- you with, uh... With Jack. Yeah, and Tim Robbins. And, and Tim Robbins? Yeah, they're friends from school. Isn't Tim- wait, who's- oh, I'm thinking of Tony Robbins. Yeah, the fucking <laughs> skinny guy from the Shawshank Redemption, no, Andy no, no. Dufresne. Oh yeah, that's the good Robbins. Yeah. Uh, Tony Robbins is like a weird, like, life coach psychopath. Oh, he's the- he's the guy- funny enough, he was in that movie Shallow Hell. That's the plot- the, he's, he really? involved, he's heavily involved in the plot, yeah. Tony to Robbins? Tony Robbins in the movie Shallow Hell is the one who makes Jack Black- You're right. See- ah! see the big fat pig known as Gwyneth Paltrow look like a skinny <laughs> goddess. That's, li fuck? that's literally the plot. She's a big fat ugly hope. Oh, that was Gwyneth Paltrow? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. My beautiful sex cum goddess. We can't say I that. I should say that. She's, <laughs> a, she's like an alien sex. You can't say that. No, you're right. No, no. I'm not even kidding. I have a problem. She's like a beautiful, like, like, accomplished celebrity. I'm talking about her like she's a little, like she's a little real doll. Yeah. It's horrible. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> I shouldn't. Real dolls are getting really real. Are they? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna get one. If not to fuck it, then just to look at it, because it looks so real. Just to have company. Yeah. Hello, Manu. I'm telling you, AI in that little thing's head would be fucking a um, force to be reckoned with. Real doll? Yeah, that was a little AI in its head where it's like, Hello, Chris, would you like to go to IHOP and get a piece of jam with me? Yeah, I'd be you good. Would do it. Get you'd a piece it. of jam? Yeah, you would piece take it. Piece of jam? You don't go to IHOP just to steal jam. When I, when I look back at That's what AIs oh. do. They yeah. realize that the, there's... Is quite a high value in getting things for free, so theft oh, is their- Oh, fucking Christ! Theft will be their first conclusion in terms of effective commerce. It's alright, Chris. If we don't get caught, there is no social consequence. Chris, please give me cum. Oh. If, if a real doll said, please give me cum, I would definitely try. What if it said, please help me rob an IHOP? I wouldn't do that. I feel, it, like, Chris, I feel like that's Chris, just a Russian know, hacker trying know, to fuck with me. I know me. the bump stock is illegal, but I think we could build one with basic 3D printing materials. Chris, <laughs> buy a 3D printer and print a bump stock. <laughs> I just- I wouldn't do it. Oh! Get it, 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 get
I never liked Sonic until I saw, like, other people obsess over it and make cringy Newgrounds shit with it. Then I started liking it. I never liked Sonic <laughs> until I saw his mouth open really big and fit Amy Rose inside of his belly. Like, I, <laughs> Wait, what? I remember what, uh, <laughs> when I visited America, uh, these guys we visited, they had Sonic Adventure 2, and I was like, this is so fucking cool, he's oh, yeah, going, he's going like a, so that's fast. That's like a beacon for autism. Yeah, no, that, that, that's what starts it, that's what starts Dude, the I, Sonic not, obsession. I, I, think, I think that game, may, I think Sonic in general, like, maybe a little bit more autistic as a kid, I think it slowed my growth. No, yeah, for sure. No. What? what? Are you fucking, okay, anyway, fucking, I had Sonic, the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog on VHS, and I had... I didn't have any of the Sega games. And the Adventures, that's the that's the goofier show with Scratch and Grounder, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Went to America when I was young, played that Adventure 2 game, started getting obsessed at that point. Then I started watching Sonic X, which was the worst show Jump. ever made. Did you ever watch that? Uh, no, but I used to watch- That I was used on to, Fox Saturday morning. It was yeah. Four Kids. I used to watch Four Kids every day after school because they did Pokemon and Digimon and all that shit. Then I started getting Sonic Advance 1, 2, and 3. And I was just obsessed. The old, so th here's the thing, I actually never, ever, 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 if you can believe it, played a 2D Sonic game ever. The only games I played were my cousin in Sonic Adventure 1. I was like, oh dude, Chaos, or the fuck his name is, is so cool. What's his name? Which one's Chaos? The is blue it, guy? Is it? Is that his name? The, bl the blue squidgy looking guy? Is that his name Ka in Sonic Adventure 1? Yeah, that's Chaos. Chaos. Yeah. yeah, that's the blue guy. I'm just guy. making sure, that could be one of those things like, you misread as a kid. That was a like, very weird, like... He was a very realistic looking enemy in that world. <laughs> he was just like that, that was just them wanting to show off that they were finally doing stuff in 3D, I think. Yeah. But it made but as a kid it made everything feel way more menacing. It made the stakes feel higher. Yeah. But I had Psych Witcher 2 and then I also had that. I had Psych Witcher 2 and I had Psych Heroes. And by Psych Heroes, like okay, Psych Heroes was a good. Was yeah, good I, as, I, I didn't like Sonic Heroes. No, I played, I beat it, but I, I never like, played that, Sonic Heroes. I n I didn't have a Genesis oh, as a kid. Oh. There were these no, so there were these kids game, that lived GameCube. in my neighborhood that had a Genesis. They were- it was this, like, uh, family of, like, these Muslim kids who's, who were homeschooled. They were all heroes of and, the Sonic world. And they had a Genesis, Fuck. and so I'd go to their house and, and like, they had gotten no, it when it first asshole. came out. Oh god, Chris. Yeah, this is kind of well, risky. No, no, Tobar, uh, Sonic Heroes is for GameCube. No, it's for PS2 as well. Oh, but my point is my point, though. That was a 3D one. Yeah. Tobar, I have a question. Mm. You're a Jewish man. Did, you, did uh -huh. you ever, did you ever know any like kids that were like Palestinian or like Muslim that that instinctively hated you or like that instinctively but like were kind of taught to hate you? I'm not kidding. I don't. I don't. I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell you why I say that. I'll tell you why I said because I knew a Pakistani kid and an Indian kid who fucking hated each other in like middle school. Really? They didn't like each other. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, no, I've never, I've never had an experience where like I was taught all about anti-Semitism throughout my. Childhood and I and it's 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 definitely a real thing, but I never actually experienced it firsthand. Or if I did, it went right over my head. I, I wasn't I wasn't really always paying <gasps> attention as no. a kid. No, go go go. If you'll believe oh, it, fuck. Zach, I was diagnosed with attention deficit disorder. You <laughs> <I> say autism? <laughs> I don't believe you're autistic. You just said I was diagnosed. I was like, where the hell is this going? I thought I had to go on that thing. Now I fucked <laughs> up. Look at that. Oh my god. Getting it, getting it, getting it. Nope. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, yeah. why didn't it work? I don't know. Why did you fall off? Chris, what do you think of Guar? I don't know who that is. You've never seen their big elaborate costumes? No. They're a costumed uh, metal rock and roll band with big rubber Whoa. costumes of warriors, and the one has his hoo ha hanging out. His hoo ha? Mm hmm. His doodly doo. <laughs> mm -hmm. His squidly bits. Squidly bits. They feed I like the audience that. members to a giant rubber worm every concert. Do you ever grab your balls they and squeeze them really hard and say, hey, and spray look. blood at the audience? What? Yeah, you like your gore. Yeah. Um, I like gore, but I don't like real gore. I like. No, being... it's not real gore, Chris. It's Al Gore. It's allegory. That's right. They brought Al Gore to a concert. Oh, you stupid fucking cube! You didn't say you're gonna go down. Fuck. There should be a voice clip of it saying, "I'm going down now." <laughs> <laughs> In a really scary robot. Hey kid, I'm going down! I'm going down now! <laughs> <laughs> I wish that did that. that, did that. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> now! <laughs> Warning! <laughs> Careful, Chris, no! Boing. <laughs> you sure boinged. Uh, but boy, boy, where are you going to? It was that sick fucking disgusting pervert who put his voice in every single sound effect in Half-Life 2. So he's just like, bang, bang. Oh! <laughs> Why is he a sick pervert? Yeah, what do you do? No normal human should do that. 
That makes you a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clearly, you're deriving pleasure from this video game by playing it. <laughs> hey, you sicko! Do you wanna, can I tell you a funny I story? I only get mad at games. Can I tell you a funny story that tell happened? Tell the story. Tell the story. Uh, earlier, I was playing PUBG, and I was I was just I was playing with a friend, and we were trying. Oh shit! Here, you do this level. It's you this, this you is lived. Another, this is another mindfuck level. You live though. Anyway, I was playing PUBG with my friend, uh -huh. and uh, we were we had to play with an extra two other people that we didn't know because we were playing the test server oh. and it forces you onto a team if you don't have a full team of four, right? Okay. Uh -huh. So we kept getting two random people each time. So then after a while we just got bored and we started fucking with the people. <laughs> but in, in, in the first one, uh, we were talking to the guy and he was like really like, he just sounded like a 40 year old dude. And he was just like, Hey guys, where are we dropping? And I was just like, uh, I don't know. But then I was just like, you know, if you if you if you're diving in the parachute and you push P, you can pee yourself and drop what you pee. <laughs> and it wasn't funny. And then he was like, oh, "Okay." And then uh, when we were landing, mm. I kept saying stupid shit like that. And then <laughs> I ran up to him with a scope, and he already had a scope. And I was like, "Hey, man, you want to share the scope? We can take turns. I can use it for every five minutes and tra trade it with you." And he's like, "No." <laughs> and then after a while, he was literally just like, "Fuck this guy. This is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous." He's like, I'm muting this f and then I, then I walked up to them holding a, like a Molotov grenade and he shot me to death. Oh my god. And he's like, I'm not in the mood for this, man. Aww. And then my friend shot him and killed him. That's a good story. <laughs> no, it's not. That's a sad story. <laughs> Nothing good came from it. Chris got a few yucks. What were they? It's just a guy who didn't want to have fun. That's the worst you thing to see anyway. Yeah, but it's fun because he, he be didn't nice want to have me. fun. He annoyed him. <laughs> You see that big cross in the desert? The big cross in the desert? Yeah, uh, the other way. Ooh. There. Yeah, it's Glendale. <laughs> it's Barcelona. But, uh, when I went to Vegas, did I, I- I told you what happened when we were being ushered into a limousine to a strip club, right? No. There was this guy, and we, me, me and my friends were wearing Rain Man suits because we're fucking losers. And Rain then, Man? <laughs> like, the autistic dude? Yeah, like, from, like, from the film the Rain, movie Man. Rain Man? Yeah. 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 Uh, wait, finish. And we were, we were like, haha, we're in Vegas dressed as Rain Man, we're so cool. And then, this guy came up to us, he's like, ah, Rain Man, I love it. And we're like, yeah, ha ha ha. And then he was like, listen guys, like, I can get you to a strip club in a limo for free. And we're like, uh, no thanks. <laughs> and, but then he, he was super pushy, and then he, like, my friend, oh shit, someone's after me. Is that the secret Vegas code? If you dress like Rain Man, oh, people no, will give you free sake. rides to strip clubs? What am I gonna do? Get a, get the advantage of height. Just run. He's gonna get me. Can he? Is uh, he following you? Oh. No, see? You have the advantage of height. They're scared of heights. No, their pathfinding's just uh, failing uh, over yeah. there. Oh no, he's coming. There's three of them. Get on top of a rock so they, they lose your scent. <laughs> I'm trying. There has to be a way to move faster than this, dude. I know. Maybe you're just moving this fast because... I mean, it is a new game. Of your you're not encumbered, are you? Is he here? No, I'm not encumbered. They wouldn't encumber you, like, right out of the gate, because you got all that DLC shit. I don't think so. Is that the city? Oh, yeah, that does look like... Yeah, it is. It is. That's that Space Needle shit they got up there. Okay. But sorry, but anyway, the story, the guy was like, come to the strip club, and we are like, no, that's okay. And then, um... We did, we did want to go to a strip club, but what happened was, uh... We, we were like, let's just get an Uber, because these guys are scary. But then, uh, another one of those guys came up, and, uh, he was being, like, really pushy, too, and he was like, Where are you guys going? And we're just like, uh, to a strip club, we're just gonna get this Uber, though, thank you. And he was like, WHAT?! NO! <laughs> WHAT?! NO, I CAN GET YOU THERE FOR FREE! And we're like, nope, no thank you, bye-bye, and he's like, YOU FUCKING IDIOTS! See, the, YOU FUCKING yeah. RETARDS! Anything free, if people get angry at you for not taking something free, you know there's something wrong. No, was but they, he was scary, and he had a ponytail. He's a promoter, he works yeah. for every body yeah. he gets in, he gets paid for every body he, he personally gets into the club. Oh, now something else after me. But what happened was, we were getting into the Uber, and he was screaming at us, and he was like running at us, so we were all like, this is scary. Ooh. Oh! Vats. Oh, it's a Casador! Oh! Vats. Vats? Oh, Those sorry. things will fuck you up bad, too. Really? Yeah. Okay. They're actually probably stronger right than the scorpions. Oh. What the what? fuck, dude? Oh my god, dude. This game is too fucking hard. <laughs> no, it's- I think this is all to prevent you from going toward- in the direction of Vegas too early. You're really not supposed to. Damn! These things ah! are tough. Yeah, what the hell? Look at this shit. You're low on health. I'm dead, dude. Is this a good idea? 
<laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to head to Vegas. Okay. Yeah, try doing some quests nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Let's not go that way. Could you, I mean, like, with the ride, sure, I'm, it, it's a car, but, like, why would you ever want to get into a car with the stranger who's, like, screaming at you to get in their car? Yeah, but when we were <laughs> like driving... no <laughs> scenario where that makes sense. <laughs> when we were getting into the Uber, that he was screaming at us and following us, and then Veronica just stuck her head out of the car and was like, Cut your ponytail, you f***. And then he looked really fuck. He looked like he was going to murder her. Like, he looked so fucking scary. But it was funny. She's gonna get you into trouble one day. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe your baby. Chris. Uh, what? What's the saddest you've ever been? Um... <laughs> uh, when did you want to kill yourself, Chris? When my grandma died. Oh, that is sad. Oh my god. Oh, Why he did she cries. <laughs> oh yeah. Chris, what? what's the happiest you've ever been? When my grandma was alive. <laughs> Chris. Oh, he's so yeah. What's the longest you've gone without eating? Um, That's a good question. I, I have a story, actually. Like one day? Yeah. Oh, wait, did I already tell the story about the pizza? What? On, on, the, on the show, did Wh I already? What's the pizza story? It's not, it's not that great of a story, but it's one of the few things that I remember from being very, very young was the first time that, uh, I guess I learned just to fucking put shit in your mouth instead of making a, being a little bitch about it. I, uh... There was this one period, I was like three or four, where uh, I refused, I was just like, hey, if I want pizza, I'm just gonna refuse to eat anything but pizza. And so my parents were like, no, you have to eat like actual food, you can't just have pizza. <laughs> and uh, and so I just refused any food that they gave me for three whole days. Obviously you can't go that long without eating. <laughs> and so after three days of me like, going on hunger strike for pizza, they were finally like, okay, Jesus, we'll get you pizza. <laughs> if you fucking, if you fucking eat. So and, uh, but then they, uh, they were like, okay, the stipulation is you have to have a little bit of salad before you eat your pizza. And I ended up being so hungry that I just ate the whole thing of salad, Whoa. and I never ate the pizza. <laughs> that sucks. And so that's how I learned. Do you really want to hear a funny story? Kind not of similar? To be, not to be a jerk. Go ahead. It's not starving or nothing, but there's a video tape of me somewhere at home where I'm like, I'm like sitting on a chair pouting really hard and crying. And my mom's like, what's wrong with you, Chris? And I'm like, Daddy wanted to buy me a super split. And I'm saying it like that. <laughs> and I'm crying. <laughs> and I just, I just keep saying it over. He wanted to buy me a super split. <laughs> it's really funny. That is funny. I wish I could see that video. <laughs> There's a video of my sister where she's holding a spoon up to my mom. She's like, Look at yourself in the mirror, daddy. <laughs> Why did you both talk like idiots? I don't know, because it's like a children. It's like a bogger Irish accent. <laughs> I am from the country. Wait, wait, Zach. Shit! What? Never, what? When we go back to the map, we'll do it next time. Just what? what did me. I do? What did I do? It's okay, bae. Did, was babe, I bad? Babe, it's okay, babe. Was I bad? Babe, sometimes you do things, but it's okay, did babe. I d did I do something? Oh my bad? god. That's you like PS4 graphics in the background. Look at that. 3D. <laughs> Talk about the fucking... It's well, a 3D plane. Dude, I was walking... I was walking... This is not even a great story, but I was just walking... I was um, walking the end. I was walking the end. I was yeah. walking and I saw, I saw a tree on the road. <laughs> no, I... I, I uh... <laughs> yeah. I saw... I was walking into my apartment, oh. uh, and I saw, like, it was like 2 a.m. Mm. And, uh, I saw a guy with, like, his girlfriend or whatever outside, and he was, like, grabbing your face. Like, not assaulting you, but he was, like, grabbing your face, like, very... Like, by the cheeks, basically. And he was like, don't talk down to me ever again. I was like, oh my god, I almost called the cops. <laughs> <laughs> and I just went inside and I oh, ate my goodness. chicken, and then uh, that was it. <laughs> That's a great story. I, sh am, I gonna be, am I a bad person for that? Uh, the guy was big, by the way. He was a gigantic man who could have killed me. I mean, it sounds like he was being a jerk, but it doesn't sound like you observed <laughs> anything. He didn't have any black eyes. Was, you just reminded me of that video, man slaps soul out of woman on subway. <laughs> you sound stupid! You dirty bitch! Uh, almost get arrested, but he got cleared, or whatever I think. Or did he get fucked with that? Did he? I mean, he starts wailing on one of the girls, but they all kind of deserve it. I think he just gives her one big slap, right? No, he's you know he slaps one, and she co she totally deserves it. But then after that, they all oh, start. He starts going. He gets a, he gets a hunger for it. <laughs> as, as far as what's deserving, I think I think there's some 
equivalence, maybe. I think here's what my view on she, that whole she thing. She like she like hits him, but she just kind of like she hits him, and he's obviously like way stronger than her, and he hits her a lot Dude, harder. If you're gonna, if you're yeah, gonna, but like she started it, so if, fuck her. I mean, it's true. Hit, it, if you're gonna hit anybody, if you're let me put it this way, it's true. If, if you're, you're gonna hit a stranger. You, you can't expect them not to retaliate. No. I, I a lot mean, of those videos, too, the girls go, you can't hit me. You know you can't hit me. It's like, dude, but here's my rule, too. It's like if, if, a, if a guy's like a linebacker, he's like seven foot tall, he's built. He's gonna go straight. Like a, like a fucking, like, a, like he's gigantic, he's building a boulder. And a little five foot tall shrimp guy <laughs> hits him. Yeah. Is he not gonna, I mean, you know what I mean? Like anybody's gonna get hit, doesn't matter if you're way weaker, I think. Yeah. Fuck Yo, me. Yo, Tomar. Yeah? Were you ever, uh... Convinced that something supernatural was real as a child? Uh, that's a good question. I yeah. think so. I definitely believed in like Bloody Mary. I did too. Do Jewish people believe in Santa Claus? <laughs> no. I believed in banshees. I never believed in Santa Claus. And I but believed I in witches. Yeah, I definitely thought if I said Bloody Mary into the mirror, that that, that, that was it three times. Yeah. That. That she would come and fucking kill me. You know what's really messed up? Um, you know when, as a kid, when you're learning about religion and shit, and you, you learn that demons are real? <laughs> oh. Did you ever learn about, like, did you ever think Jews demons- Jews don't really oh! talk much about demons. Okay, well, guess what? Christians do. <laughs> and, uh, every single time I'd be alone in the dark, I would, uh, I would think there was demons nearby, and that's a really fucked up thing to believe. That sucks. I know. How long did you think there were demons? Until I was like 19. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's pretty late in the game. I mean, why would anyone lie to me, Mick? Why would anyone lie to you? Except why for Why would people lie and say why demons? Why would the government <laughs> lie to you? Why would advertisers lie to you? Why would your parents lie to you? Yeah. Your wife? Why would my entire country of Ireland <laughs> lie and say the demons are real? <laughs> it's very strange. People are strange. When you're a stranger. It's fucking mandatory do, 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 to learn do, do, do. in Ireland, too. To- to believe in demons? Like, in secondary school, we had a mandatory religion class, and if you weren't a Christian, you just sit there and don't say anything. Shut but the fuck up. There was like one or two kids who just sat there and didn't say anything. Man, I'm stinking it up in this. It's pretty- it's pretty much religion Are there- class. are there specifically- you know like cultures have their own demons? Yeah. Does Ireland have their own demons? Uh, banshees and leprechauns. Okay. Is, Wait, hey, are leprechauns bad? Uh, kinda, yeah. Is- is the cat Sith, is that Irish or Scottish? Scottish? Okay, that is Scottish. I love the idea of that. No, yeah, uh, what leprechauns are little fuckers. If you come across a leprechaun, you're kinda fucked. Well, Have I'm, you ever seen Darby O'Gill and the Little People? No. Oh, well you should. Oh, oh I watched it there. on St. Patrick's Day at- uh, two years ago. <laughs> Did you like it? It was great. I like that movie. It was really weird. And, uh, Sean Connery is in it, he's really oh, young. Oh, really? He's super young and he sings. He's all like, She's my darling, she's my pretty. Is he any good? Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> you know, Sean Connery, uh, admitted that he thinks his wife is a big fat ugly bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That actually doesn't surprise me at all. I can't believe he'd say such things. It, it doesn't actually surprise me <laughs> in the slightest <laughs> that he would fucking say something like that. He actually, he didn't say that, but he I think he said something like, Oh, you gotta hit a woman here and there. Wait, he's not Irish. <laughs> I was gonna say, he's Scottish. I will say, I, I think kids get a, get off a little too easy nowadays. Maybe it's because I was raised in an Asian household, but I, I think I think a little slapping around is, is good for a kid. I think, uh... I didn't really get hit as a kid. And look ever? How I, I mean, not. I'm talking like ever. Look how you turned out, Tomer. You, I mean, you became a big fucking weeb. It's not like I've never got true, like actually. into like physical confrontations with my parents, but you never got spanked. I, I never got no. I never got like spanked. Like, you never got pinched. Like formally punished. No. Your your grandmother never pulled you aside and pulled down your pants and told you that your penis was a vile, evil thing. No. Not once. Not once. Wow. I guess you're white. Oh! Ah! Uh, that they scared me. We're Sonic. I didn't think there were gonna be real live gunshots in this game. I'm sorry. Tomar, if anything, you should be immune to, to gunfire. Because as you've mentioned regularly, you're always like, yeah. I own an actual gun. You guys want to see my gun? <laughs> it's <Wait>. true. <laughs> How did I do that? Well, I guess you just have to kill them all. 
Yeah. That's how I feel about everything. Pretty much. Wow. Every time I go All to right. the supermarket. Now the game is started. We're shooting the foot. The hunt is a foot. <laughs> yeah. Bah. You stupid. I, I don't think this is how you're supposed to be playing this game. You gotta have <laughs> yeah, some more go gusto. Like, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's right, keep rolling. How come none of these bullets are killing him? Because he's go. rolling. If you do a combat roll, all the bullets miss you. That's why the first thing they teach you in, in basic training in the army is how to roll. The other <laughs> Dude, uh, this is fun. I like the way you can do that. <laughs> yeah. If yeah, you get a, if you get swatted, all the t all the SWAT team guys they breach the door and then they just roll through your house. Oh yeah, that's got. You might want to reload. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh oh. There you go. Do you have to manually Ooh. reload every time? How do you reload? X. I don't know. Oh, okay, it's X. Okay. There you go. Can I do that? Uh No. 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 But yeah, I, I have a fun gun story, uh, kind of. Um, I was at a party with my buddy Kyle, like an industry thing, uh, Ooh. and, um, this fucking dude came up to us, and he just start he just started inviting us to go shooting with him out of nowhere, uh, and... I eventually left the conversation because it was Ooh. it was weird, but uh, Kyle got stuck in it, and I, I was talking to somebody <laughs> else, and he was like, "Is your friend still talking to that guy that you said at the beginning of the conversation? Hey, I'm avoiding that guy because he keeps talking about his gun." And I was like, "Oh yeah, he's he's still in that conversation." But I thought it was funny because Kyle needs to learn how to stop talking to people, <laughs> so I just kind of <laughs> left him there because I, I, I was gonna save him eventually, but he did get out of it. You wanted but, to teach a man to fish. Yeah, I get exactly. It. But uh. <laughs> Kyle, um, oh got a God. message from the guy on, I think it was LinkedIn, uh, inviting him to go shooting, and we were very tempted to do it. We were like, if we get into this scenario, we're gonna have a story that involves this weird man that found Kyle on LinkedIn and a live weapon, and if we live through that, it's gonna be interesting, you know? Uh, but we didn't do it because it, it was like this morning, and he literally messaged Kyle like last night. So, uh, <laughs> we, we missed, we missed a gun scenario with a guy, but to be fair, it, it seemed like he was in multi-level marketing because, uh, on his LinkedIn profile. That explains the, yeah, uh, the yeah. aggressiveness and him just being a loathsome human being. Basically, because on his, <laughs> on his LinkedIn profile, he basically, like, anytime you can't distinguish what somebody's job is or what a business does, it's usually like a multi-level marketing thing. Like anytime it's like, oh, this we're the business of relations and, uh, and marketing uh, proposition. So this guy's job title was like, I'm the CEO and CFO <laughs> trainer uh, of the business division marketing. And that, that was like all it said. And he was like, oh yeah, we're gonna go shooting with some other CEOs. So wow. I guarantee you it's like a multi-level marketing thing. Yeah, everybody calls themselves CEOs because yeah. you technically can, even if it's just a one-man small business. It's just a bunch of fucking, like, business jargon. I've actually saved Kyle from some multi-level marketing shit in the past because uh, before he started editing for, for Oni Plays. And, Wait, uh, Kyle destructoid. edits for Oni Plays? Yeah! Wow! It, it's... Isn't he great? You, you almost forget he's there. Anyway, um... <laughs> He'll appreciate that, I'm sure. <laughs> no, uh... Kyle, uh, was looking for jobs on, like, Monster and, and shit like that. You know, the, the job hunting websites. And, uh, yeah, he would keep going to these places Ooh. that were <laughs> vaguely described. And then, um... They would just be fucking multi-level marketing schemes, but one of them like drove him to a different city and they were like, okay, what your job is uh, oh, Is we go to people's houses and we ask if they have AT&T and basically if if they just uh Basically what they do is that if you say yes, then they call AT&T and try to put you on like their family plan basically and like shave money off the top Yeah, this is basically all they try to do That's Fucking creepy, and but weird. yeah, basically, basically they were like, "Oh, we're gonna go to our other office," and they just put Kyle in the back of a van and drove him to another city, and we're like, "Okay, this is what we're doing now." So uh, <laughs> he like called me, and I like drove out there and rescue him. And then, <laughs> then my uh, then my fucking car blew up. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, it was it was already gonna blow up, but that was like that last voyage of the car. It feels like you're trying to pour in a little extra guilt here if Kyle winds up editing this video. <laughs> no, here, he already knows. Dude, this game is if fucking I, awesome. It's yeah, it's cool really cool. Again. 
Sorry, I was talking about multi-level marketing over this. It looks actually like a lot of fun. I, 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 I'm sort of into the whole MLM thing because I don't know. I have a thing with charlatans and just like fraud and fakes in general, where I love hearing stories about any sort of like failure on the part of those people. So the fact that you rescued one person from it makes me happy. Yeah. Do you have any good multi-level marketing fraud stories? I don't think I have any good ones of my own. Any, and like, any second-hand ones? <laughs> yeah, but... I don't, I don't know if I want to go into it. Oh, uh, yeah? Oh, okay. shit. Because it's like, at least... Most of the people involved in them are public figures. Okay, alright. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> I actually do like leaving that vague. Oh, no. Yeah. Dude. Sorry that I'm not talking to Elias. Usually when I get into a game like this, I'm like, wow. Yeah, Chris is on what we call the gamer's edge. <laughs> you, know, you know what else? I'll, I'll say one, if if you don't mind, we keep going on about multi-level oh, no. marketing. So, I'm not gonna say what the product is or who the people are. I'll say what the product is, fuck it. So, for some reason, in the voice acting industry, <laughs> Yeah. There's a bunch of people who are really into selling this one, like, it's basically like anti-aging cream. So it's, you know, it's snake oil. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it turns out what it really is, is it's an extract from some kind of cactus that's mildly poisonous. And the reason it makes people's wrinkles disappear, at least initially, is because it causes your skin to swell <laughs> from an allergic reaction. Yeah, that's like the Instagram thing. There was like the poop tea that makes you like shit your fucking guts oh, out. No. It's like a uh, weight loss tea. And basically it's just a <laughs> laxative. But uh, I don't know why you gotta lie about that. I mean like, isn't yeah. it compelling enough just to have like a big watery shit that just like evacuates <laughs> your bowels? <laughs> Isn't that enough? <laughs> Why oh, not just sell it, it as a laxative? Yeah, sell, sell it as a good time. Sell it as a fun Tuesday night, you but, know? But I think you still have to make it sound like unique. Because otherwise people will just be like, Oh, that's a good idea. I'll just buy a cheaper over-the-counter laxative instead of your stupid thing. No, but it would be like... Okay, so, like, here's the thing, right? You've got attractive people on Instagram willing to shill this, right? I mean, like, I feel like there's a market for that. Like, oh, don't you want to... Don't you want to imagine a lady like me? Yeah, don't you want to imagine a lady like me fucking projectile blasting shit in the back walls of my toilet? Like, yes, I absolutely do. I'll buy that product just to have the mental image. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Mick, what's the nastiest thing that ever happened to you? Um, I uh, I sucked my wiener girl's butt and she pooed. That was pretty you nasty. You sucked your what? I stuck my wiener in a girl's butt, and poo came out. Did it really? Yep. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, that's not the nastiest, but it's up there. That's pretty gross. I think it's because I wasn't expecting it, you know? Like, you're, you're gonna do so, you you know, you're Yo, trying call, to get sexy. It was inappropriate timing. Call me old-fashioned, but I don't like shit. I, I don't either. <laughs> I don't like shit either. Not on my dick. Um... Maybe in my mouth. When I was pretty young, <laughs> like 11 or 12, we uh, were visiting a friend's house. I think it was in, yeah, it was in America, but, um, fucking, I drew, I was drawing porn, because <laughs> I was a fucking little pervert, <laughs> and, uh, my dad well, was like, like, you still are, my dad was like, Chris, come here, and I was like, one minute, and then, uh, he was like, wait, I'll come up there, and I was like, <gasps> and I, like, took the pictures I was drawing and ran into the guy's bathroom, and he was like, what's going on, I was like, nothing, and then he knew something was up, so I, I tried flushing it down the toilet, but then it got blocked with oh, with, with the God. guy's like big yeah. huge shits that he left <laughs> in the toilet. So when it got blocked, I had to shove my hand down into his shit and like mix it around with my hand <laughs> to try and get it to flush, and it finally worked. Boy, and that was that was you shit. Were th that's like a desperate child thing. Yeah, yeah. I have quite a few stories of clogging like toilets at my friends' houses. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever clogged a toilet like on a, in like a romantic situation? No, I what? don't think so. Like on a date or something? No. I don't think so. Fuck, I'm just careful. It's all right. If I die, it's okay. Chris, yeah. Buy or don't buy. Get that little cyber. It's mine. All mine. What does it do? Robo baby. It it it's fucking little... it just like runs away. Whoa, you see that? It, it just left it, me. It lasers everyone. Though. Oh fuck ass. Fuck ass. Um, no. Could you oh! not uh you know walk into a into a biodome and kill all of the you know 
You stop? The, the problem with this is that I have like zero range. The problem with me is I have zero range, my dear. That's you what said she to the beautiful said. woman. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, have you ever said something like that to a beautiful vixen? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so the robo yeah, baby. I was, we were hooking up, and I was like, oh. Oh, I'm going to go. My range is inadequate. And, and she like she backed off. She like went across the room, and I was like, no, 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 <laughs> too far. No, like, no, 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 no. It's just going to fall out. <laughs> what is the furthest you've ever coomed? Um, back when I was younger, I definitely had range. Something happened in my old age. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know if my dick hole got bigger. Once, like now, it's just like really wide. One time when I was like 16, it hit the other side oh, of the room, God. and I don't know how it happened, but it did. Oh God! There's always those mysterious incidents. It was like the planets aligned and every muscle in my body contracted perfectly at the same time. <laughs> I just shot it out like it a blue like hole a sniper in the wall. rifle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to save this. Mick, I told you I used to be able to crack my dick, right? Crack? Yeah. <gasps> I, up until I was like 19, I used to be able to bend my boner backwards in the morning and it would crack. No! I swear to God. No, I you're lying. I know, I swear on my fucking soul, on my life. Cr I swear. <laughs> yeah, no, I did. It was like a deep- Your dick like bone? That. It was- so, I was- Was so, it like crack- like- There's no like bone in, in your, your- knuckles? I don't know what it was, but it cracked, I swear to God. It must have been like a weird cartilage thing. <laughs> cartilage? I don't know, I don't, I don't understand it, but I used to be able to do it. Chris, did you should have gotten it. that checked out. I proved it to a friend one time. Wait, what? Taking your dick out and fucking cracking it for him? Actually, no, I guess it's not proved. Because <laughs> I did it under a blanket and maybe, like, maybe I could have cracked could've, my yeah. knuckles according to him. Mm -hmm. But I swear on my soul, on my family, I swear on all of my wealth. I swear on my, my grand estate. Alright, at this point I do believe you. <laughs> I believe you now. I used to have this recurring nightmare where the heavy oh, would hold me it. down and pull my ass open and <laughs> spit into it. <laughs> so you are- you have been into that! No, I said oh. I had a nightmare. Oh. That- that wasn't real, but it should have been. Have you had a nightmare that gave you a boner? <laughs> um, yeah. You were really frightened, but at the same time you're like, ooh. Yeah. What- what happened? I'm not gonna say it, cause people are gonna play psychiatrists and start shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people on the internet That's are. That's true. They know your weakness, and then they go for the jugular. Yeah. The nugular. No. Health down. No. I don't want that. If your jugular was full of chicken nugget broth, <laughs> would you be sad? <laughs> chicken nugget broth? <laughs> what? I want to see this person that has ch <laughs> that chicken nuggets and mayonnaise in their fucking bodies. Buy a bomb a wall, Mick. What's oh, that? Okay. I just oh, had a, I just had God. a good feeling about bombing a wall in there. I know. hate everything. All right, did, where, did which guys, one? <laughs> up there, up, up, up. Did you guys see one that? Those, there was a guy. Right, bro. There was a guy recently who tweeted. Uh, oh well. He, he was he was being kind of a, a loser, but uh, what he tweeted I thought was funny. Where he took what do you call it? Uh, it's like a brothy bowl of vegetables. I think it's called a hot pot or something. Yeah. And he said. Uh, you just said it looked like gross dishwater. <laughs> I thought it was funny because it did, but people freaked. They lost their minds because and, it was like, "How dare you yeah, insult our you're culture?" So racist. But it's oh, just funny. It's not racist. <laughs> it that does. Is... It looked like this. It really just looked like Look, dishwater. I'm, I'm Chinese, but I'm the first person to admit I've walked down a street in New York City and I and I've smelled something and I was like, "Ooh, that's either really tasty Chinese food or really rancid garbage." <laughs> like I, sometimes I don't know, but no, yeah, that's no, just, that's sometimes that's a fact. great food just looks disgusting. Yeah, but no, you, you can't even say that now. Have you heard of durians? Durians? No, they're like these. They're called the king of fruits. So you're you're using money each time you do this. What is the object? I'm sp my luck must be garbage because normally this drops items, this drops hearts, this drops trinkets. You were born wrong. I am getting nothing. There oh. you go. Oh, if now I get more uh, money. There you go. Now I got 16 more tries. <sighs> but yeah, the only reason I said that guy was being a loser is because he was he was bragging about being a vegan while he did it. Oh God. Oh yeah, he was pretty much saying like. People make fun of vegans, but look at this meat dish that looks <gasps> like dishwater. It's not a reason not to make fun of vegans. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that one picture of the guy having a piss at a urinal, and there's like 16 urinals right next to him, and there's just the guy who walks right over to him and stands- Right next to him. And he stands next, he's like, I'm a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than him standing right behind him and saying that. 
We're going even deeper. Ooh. And there's the toilet. I told you. Uh, no toilet paper. <laughs> What's the worst thing you ever wiped your ass with because you had no toilet paper? A leaf. That's it? Yeah. Like, what, 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 what do you want me to say? Like, sandpaper? Why, why yeah. would I do that? A, a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I scooped out. All That's... I had was a fucking knife. That's horrible. <laughs> um, My friend once, uh, he, uh, he tried to poop on me from a tree branch when we were kids. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Which, which country was this? This is in Seattle. This is in Seattle. Yeah, okay. this is my friend Nate. Anyways, uh, we were like, I don't know, we were like... Six, we were five. like really horny. We were real horny. <laughs> Anyways, he um he tried to uh, poo on me from a tree, and that's cute. Yep, he missed, so it was fine. Mm -hmm. But then he had boys wiped will his, be boys. He, boys will be boys. <laughs> will be boys. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so he ended up um having to wipe his butt because we were still out in the woods, mm. and all they had oh fuck poison me. ivy. All they had no 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 it wasn't poison ivy, but it was a stinging nettle leaf. Ah. I don't know. Some stinging nettle leaves look like normal leaves. Wow. Nettles are very painful. Yeah. Well, they itch. They itch. Oh, they're visible. Oh. I got a. I, I fell off my bike when I was younger and fell into a bush of nettles. It was the worst pain. Yeah. Yeah. Your whole body just stings. My fucking friend Martin is a weird trickster. He, when I was younger, he used to be like, if you grab a nettle and if you don't care that it will sting you, it won't sting you. And I was like, that's obviously a lie. And then he did no! it. And he kept doing. It. He kept grabbing it. And he wasn't even doing the thing where you grab it from the bottom and move your hand upward. He was like, going up and down, and I don't know how he was doing it without getting stung. He was trying to get me to sting myself. He what was a dick! Like, he was like, it only stings you when, when it senses fear, and I, and I believed him for a while. <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know how he did it. Dude, when I was day. a kid, I was such an idiot. Maybe he was just getting stung and just, like... No, like, he was, because you, you can tell when you get stung, it like, a little red bump comes up pretty quickly. Yes, that makes, that's true. But, uh, when I was when I was in school, these kids, uh, this was like middle school too, so not even like a little kid. Yeah. But some guys were like, "Hey, look! If you squeeze the back of this orange peel into your eye, it tingles." <laughs> yeah, I get it. that's citrus acid burning you. <laughs> did you wait? Did they do that to you? No, but oh. you could just let <laughs> citrus acid. Look, <laughs> I was I, I I figured yeah maybe it does tingle. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, it's blinding me. It tickles. <laughs> Yummy. I was a dumb kid. If you look into a mirror, you can see your own brain. Through you your eye holes. Through your, if you look through. really close. Yep. If you put a lighter up to your eye, you can see behind your eye. If you look down into a lighter while it's lit, <laughs> the smoke will go into your eyes and make you see ultimate darkness. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> you literally would see ultimate darkness because your eyes would be burned out of your fucking skull. Okay. I, I will say, uh, watch Mojo's female narrator has a very wonderful voice. Yeah, do you want to meet her? No. I wouldn't have anything to say, except I think you've got a very nice voice. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I heard that voice, I thought it was actually like a text-to-speech thing. Yeah, I know, it's like, it's perfect. Yeah. It's too perfect. It's, 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 it's kind of, yeah, she's kind of a fake bitch, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, no, I don't mean that. They're watching right now. They're watch-mojoing. The, the lady is. I wonder, uh... When, like, uh, top ten times, Chris was a dick. Top ten times, the female narrator on Watch Mojo was caught <laughs> shitting in a public urinal. <laughs> Have you ever done that? No. Never? No. Never no. in your life you shat in a urinal? No. no. I absolutely have. Mick, you're a fucking animal. No, you, listen, this is this is a true story, and, <laughs> and I hope nobody that I know listens to this. But I was- this is just like a month ago. I think. Um, <laughs> One I, time I was at a family <laughs> reunion with all of my friends and family. I shot in the Hawaiian punch, which everyone drank from. But then, <laughs> I, I got up and gave a great speech with a standing ovation and everybody clapped. Then I proceeded then to I masturbate her, I bowed to and then everyone, I, I know. Wait, what? And then I bowed and then everybody <laughs> saw the big brown stain on my ass. Oh, what's that? The whip worm? Yeah. Ooh. But anyway, go on. You shot any urinal? No, I didn't. I'm saying, oh, I have done that. But I was Get saying, that. like, uh, about a month ago, Ooh. I was at somebody's. I, I was at the gym, Ooh. and uh, I got a stomach ache, and I had to drop something off at somebody's house. Mm. Now I thought I had enough time to That's drop. That's a euphemism, right? No. Okay. This is totally for real. Right. So I dropped it off, but they weren't home, so I couldn't use their bathroom. So I was like, ah, I'll just walk home. But I, I made such a mistake. I really. I gave myself too much credit. About one block down from their house, I was like, oh no. 
this isn't gonna work. This isn't. This is bad. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna make it home. There's no way. So then it got to the point where you know when you need to poo so bad, you start actually just clenching your butt cheeks together yeah. to hold it in. Yeah. Like yeah. it's coming out, but you're you're literally yeah. physically plugging it in, and like every four steps, it would be like that. Oh, your knees go weak, and you start to kind of go dizzy a little bit. You're sweating. Yeah. You're sweating. So anyways, I've I was like, this there. is not gonna work. There's no way. I start looking around for bushes. I start- but this is the middle of the day! That's the problem. If it was at night, I would've had any problem at all. But I start looking around, there's no good bushes, there's no- I saw a, a car park where they <laughs> left their gate open, and yeah. I was debating if I'd just, like, go into the back of their fucking parking lot, <laughs> like, yeah. in the corner, behind a car, and just as quickly as I could. No go. Um, so finally I saw a dumpster by a school. Luckily, school was out of session, or it was in session, and they weren't outside. And I, I went behind a dumpster, yeah. and I had to, like, push the dumpster, like, a foot, so I could actually get behind it. Wow. And, but as that was happening, I don't know if I'm going Ooh. into too much detail, but as that was happening, it was it was just coming out, like, the whole <laughs> time. It was, it was terrible. And I didn't, because my pants weren't all the way off, like, I didn't want to poo on my pants. Yeah. So I ended up putting my arm against the wall and one on the dumpster and my legs, like, up and I put my foot up, like, against, <laughs> like, the, one of the things, like, the little wall area. Yeah. And I was, like, holding myself up like Spider-Man, just, like, fucking diarrhea <laughs> pouring out of my ass. <laughs> it was really bad. I felt really bad. And all I had, I had a, a plastic bag mm -hmm. and I had some receipts in there. <laughs> and that's all I had. And these receipts, I didn't. I, I never thought about it, but they just slip right off. They're so slippery. Like it wasn't doing any wiping at all. Ah. Uh, anyways, the walk home was uncomfortable. I'm sorry, Mick. It's all right. I'm a grown man. One <laughs> of the worst say, things. Yeah. With me, it's like my don't body, tell anybody that story. By the way, body <laughs> <laughs> it was really embarrassing. You don't want that in the in the stream. <laughs> Mick, I like your BC story. No. <laughs> oh. What's the worst smell that came out of your body, Chris? Like, I'm talking like, you know, you didn't shower for a week and then you, you wiped your ass and you, you, you didn't have any toilet paper so you used your hand. I'm pretty good about showering when I stink. Yeah? I don't let it go too far, I don't think. But, uh, the worst smell ever is when I got really drunk. Cause I dr it's just alcoholic shits are the stinkiest. Yeah. They smell damn bad. If I don't fart- if I don't shit for like a week, yeah. and, and like when I went to Japan and I fart, it literally <laughs> smells- it- it smells like Is that, a decomposing that, body. Mick, you said that's a thing when you travel where your body yes. just decides not to shit for Correct. a week. Correct. <laughs> that is- this that's is something weird. common- it is common. I don't know if it's like some kind of, uh, some kind of adaptation to travel, you know, so I don't have to like- Cause I'm always afraid of using public toilets when I travel. You never know what you're gonna it's get. It's true. I've I don't think I ever had to use a public toilet in like, in like Thailand or. I definitely had to use one in Japan though. Chris, but they're all really nice there. Even in like a random ass department store. You know, yeah. American public toilets are the worst ever. The what are they like in Ireland? In Ireland, they're they're pretty similar to America, but America's like just slightly worse than everywhere else. America always has like. <laughs> 20 feet gaps in the doors that yeah. everyone can see into. Also, why the fuck- I, have you ever used a girl's bathroom because you had to and there was no girls around? Yeah. Why are girls' bathrooms so fucking dirty? Because girls are dirty girls little are hamsters. Girls are fucking disgusting! Girls are sick girls little are fucking bitches. absolutely revolting. Yep. Every girl bathroom I've gone into, a public one, I, I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm like, I get it with guys, like, you know, your your dick swinging around like a helicopter and pee just kind of goes off in its own direction. I understand. Yeah. But how the fuck is there piss all over a toilet seat for a girl? Um... I don't know, man. Do are girls afraid of putting their butts on the seats? Yes, so then instead they just fucking I'm pretty sure that's exactly stand what's over happening. It? They, when they go into a shared toilet, they don't trust it, so they squat real high above the seat, and then they just wind up pissing everywhere. <laughs> Yeah. It's Disgusting! It's a wonderful little cycle. <laughs> hey, girls out there, listening, get your shit together, okay? Stop peeping everywhere. Just leave the, the country. It's nasty. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go away. Boys only. Yeah. 
I wish there was a boys only country. I wish there was a boys only bathroom. I wish there was a boys only world where you don't have to share with stupid girls. Yeah. And you can kill girls when you see them in the woods and shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wish you could just kill people. Okay, that you okay. Hate. Listen. I hate everyone. I understand well, where you're coming from, but you can't say these things you mean out who loud. I'm coming in. Not what? in today's world. People are sensitive about this shit. No, they're not. <laughs> I'm not sensitive. I can tell. You know, no, but real talk. If someone wanted to kill me, it's it's fine. Just do it. Just kill me. Just get it over with. <laughs> That's rude. I'll be rolling around the world. Three meters. Have you guys ever seen Earth Sick Doji? Have I seen what? Uretsuka Doji, Legend of the Overfiend. Oh, that's- that's like an early, like, 80s hentai, right? Kinda, yeah. Like, it's- it's not like, entirely sex, but... It was- It had sex, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, so here's the fucked up thing. Uh, Lyle, it's a movie about, like, uh, demons <laughs> people with, like... They, they use their huge, like, 40 inch long co- well, not 40, 40 feet long cocks that, like, are so big they can absorb people into them. And, uh, much other stuff, too. But that movie's got, like, the funniest English dub I've ever heard in my life. Like okay. the old- is like the old Devil Man dub? Uh, I've never seen Devil Man. Oh my- We gotta- we gotta check that yeah, out Yeah, I've, I've seen the montage of, like, old Devil Man voice acting. Yeah, it's pretty- it's pretty sick, and it's from about the same era as Urutsuki Doji. Like, way before there was a profession of voice acting. Is it okay for me to wear my shoes in here? I don't give a shit. At least for dubbing. There's this- there's this part at the beginning where he's getting bullied by a guy on the basketball court, and, uh, the, the bully throws a basketball at his face and, like, makes a little cut on his face. And then the bully comes over, he's like, huh, sorry about that. And he, like, he leans in and he licks his face. He's like, what? later, you know, it's, it's really fucking weird, and he goes, See you later, dick face. And he just walks away, it's like the funniest shit. But, that movie is full of, like, horrific, like, imagery and and it's probably the main source of, like, where I learned how to draw demons and shit when I was a kid. But, uh, my mom bought that movie for me when I was, like, 12. Not knowing what it was? No, she, 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 she saw the cover, and it's just, like, a big, cool demon. She's like, Chris would like that. And it's like Aww. the most horrific <laughs> movie of all time. Did she watch it with you? No. If Thank she, God. She still doesn't know uh, what she did. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to like wait for my friends to come over and I'd be like, look at this fucking movie. And at, by the end of the movie, they'd be like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I'd be like, this movie's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking good. Let's see you. Ugh. Ugh. They're back. I hate that they're cubes. Hello. <laughs> Have I ever told you guys about the rudest fucking thing someone has ever done to me? What did I I'd do? I'd like to hear it. <laughs> I like how you assume it's you. No, I was at a fucking airport, and uh, I was I was waiting for my plane, so I was just sitting at the chairs, the plane waiting chairs, and this guy has these kids that are like acting up and yelling and just being shitty. Yeah. And so what he does is he starts yelling at his kids. I don't know what he was saying because he was speaking some other language, but he he takes them over to me. And then he puts one on one side of me, and one on the other side of me, to like, separate them, but using me as a divider? <laughs> and I was like, I was so fucking taken aback, like, I couldn't believe that a human being would like, do that intentionally to another human you being. You just stood up and walked away, Yeah, that's right? exactly what yeah, I did. Okay. I wish I would have fucking said something to him, though. Like, I, I wish in that story I would have been like, dude, you cannot do that to people. What the fuck? No, but that's I, really bad. I didn't. I just fucking got up and left. Yeah, that is that I. That's oh, fucked. You want to hear something fucking rude that happened to me today? Yeah, go for it. Uh, I ordered food, um, and when the lady got to the door, she definitely had OCD or some shit because she was really upset. She saw that I had an Amazon sticker on the door. She saw that I had an envelope on the floor, and she saw that my mailbox was completely full and bursting from the seams. And she was like, you really need to do something about all this. I was just like, what? And she's like, like, you got a thing on the door, and look down here, let, let me get this for you. And she picked up my envelope. I was like, alright. And then she was all like, but yeah, you should really, you should really clean this up. Like, okay. <laughs> I just closed the door, I was really mad. Who is this woman? Just some fucking bitch delivering my food. But I was just like, what? Wait, was, <laughs> Do you was, want a fucking tip or not? What the fuck's wrong with you? Was this earlier? Or yeah, was this like this dinner? is today. This is earlier. Oh, okay. I got a fruit bowl. 
Oh. This is like, why the fuck would you say that to somebody? Fucking Maybe weird. she's just jealous you have a house and just <laughs> wanted, to, wanted to tear you down somehow. Yeah. She was also like, there's also a bunch of boxes out here. I'm like, yeah, they've been there for a while. She's fucking pissed off looking. What an what a angry little creature. But you creature. should pick that shit up, seriously. <laughs> they're just fucking <laughs> leaning against the wall, they're fine. But they've been there for like a month! But there's no place for them inside! You're supposed to throw it out! No, they cost money! Does it? Yeah, no, they're full of, uh... They're full of stuff. So you just haven't opened them? No. And it... Well, why did you order them then? Because I thought I would need more, Chris, but I look, didn't. I'm, you're swaying me to this girl's side. Listen, Tomar. Yeah, the more you, the more you just tell me about this, just I think you're, she's right. You're, you're just like Harvey Weinstein preying on this woman. <laughs> Duh. No, you're look, right. I should. She's I should gonna pick up be my a shit. star, but you. No, no. <laughs> Listen, I agree. I should pick up my shit. It's it's a little messy, just a little tiny bit. It's not like it's covered in goop or fucking, uh, you know. Trash like smelly juices, but it's just cardboard. It's a cardboard box on my porch. It's hidden from view. It like no one on the street can You're see right. it. You're right. I I I still think it's fucked up for a delivery lady to give you shit about it. But and you know what, Tomar? Uh, but I'm happy to give you the shit smartest, about it. most intelligentest people of all time have all been messy. So that's my excuse. Look, I'm pretty messy too. I I really have no place. Einstein was a big fucking moron. Yeah, and Einstein was <laughs> fucking rolling around in his own filth, crinkling his feet into his smelly yellow socks. And he was the smartest guy of all time. <laughs> Just Einstein like me. was a diaper fur. Dude, I, I fucking... Me and a couple friends were fucking around on, like, a diaper furry yeah. fetish forum. And, uh, we... There was a section called... Uh, oh, fuck, what was it called? It was called, like, Real Talk or, like, Serious Discussions. Yeah. And... It, it was just so weird. It was almost funnier than the weird diaper fur shit to just see them talk about, like, the ethics of reparations and shit like that. <laughs> what does the diaper fur community have to say about this? Well, it turns out the diaper fur community spread- it really crosses the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was like a super nuanced take on reparations from a, from some diaper fur. Starting to realize that a community of any kind is usually a bad thing. Yeah. Everyone should just be who a they are. A community based on fandom is usually a bad thing for sure. But what we- but not necessarily just what we traditionally see as fandom, like shows and games and stuff, but just like anything. Politi politics and sports totally count. Dude, I really fucking miss when video games used to be like a nerdy thing that was considered like, like, sh like you know, a lame thing and, and most people didn't really care. But now everyone's fucking obsessed and everything sucks. Uh, I mean, I don't like a lot of things about modern video games, but uh, that's that's one of the few things I actually I, I, I'll, I'll disagree with that. You, you like the fandoms? No, not the fandoms, but I like that it's not weird to play video games no more. Uh, I just miss it. Like I, I had a friend in uh like middle school that would literally like hide his Xbox whenever his girlfriend came over because she like hated video games and if she saw it she'd fucking break up with him. I'm not I, talking about that. I'm talking I, about that like that is a good point though. I feel yeah. like that was a that was a real thing that was going on at 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 some point in history and I don't think it would ever happen now. Yeah, that's no, that's just actually like fucked. But I'm talking about more so when like you know, they were just like less common. Like, like m nearly everyone I grew up around didn't really like games, but now fuck and that's it. that's a good thing for kind, you. Kind of because the people that did like games, you know, had a little connection with them, and the games were better back then because that was they appealed to I, gamers. That was but now I games appeal friends. to everybody, so they're getting shit. I think they're just getting shit because they've found more ways to monetize them. Well, that, but also they're trying to like dumb them down to appeal to just fucking morons. Yeah. Okay. I guess I see what you mean with that too. If by that you mean people who would not traditionally have been video game players, then yes, I agree. No, I just mean like there's games like, like, dude, play Grand Theft Auto V for like an hour and you, you can see how fucking dumbed down it is at the beginning where it's like, you go into that fucking mission where you have to kill Mark Zuckerberg with a bomb, but you don't actually get to do anything, you just, you follow yeah. the shitty instructions and it's, it's not fun and it's not clever and you're literally just holding up and it's it's dumbed down for people that don't play games I mean, but then there's also stuff that's like intentionally made hard like Dark Souls and shit like that Yeah, yeah, in fact, I think the There's yeah, there's been a resurgence in like difficulty for difficulty's sake because of how much like the mainstream games try to like coddle you and go 
and go for that like lowest common denominator. Yeah. Which, if all you're trying to do is make money, makes perfect sense. But here's the thing: Dark Souls One wasn't hard just to be hard. It was hard because it was part of the game. It was like an actual, like it was the world that was like scary and hard. But Dark Souls Two. They knew, like, oh, players like this game because it was hard, so now we're going to make the game about being hard. But anyway, that's my little... My little... And a paper clip. Julian, did you get my butterscotch? Uh, I got that big sack of candy. I, my birthday was, uh, was this good? week. Was uh, oh, it Chris, Chris sent me a big bag of candy. Julian, was it the good candy? Because uh, Can I tell you the story about the guy who was yeah, getting- Yeah, tell, tell, tell us your adventure. I he fell down the stairs and made boom boom. No, I post made it and the guy was like, What's peanut brittle? And I'm like- What? I'm like, I don't know. I don't- I'm not from America, I don't know. And he's just like, You need to tell me what peanut butter brittle is. And I'm like- Peanut butter I like, I go on Google, I search it, I find it instantly, and I'm like, Here, this is peanut brittle brittle. Also, Peter Peter Br Br Bar Barrel. <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's, people what is, I don't know what the service is, like, a person just goes to the store to pick you up stuff? Yeah, it's like much? Uber for getting you shit. Okay. But I, I'm like, yeah, so it's this, I sent him a jar of peanut butter brittle, he's like, I, I looked everywhere, I can't find it, I'm like, okay, um, just get him anything peanut related, and he's like, okay, and then he calls me back, he's like, I, I asked the store, I don't, and they said that they don't have peanut butter brittle, I'm like, yes, I know, Get him anything peanut butter related. He's like, like what? And I'm like, Reese's Pieces. He's like, I know where I can find that. And he like drove to another store. And they he's sent like, you a photo of a dumpster. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he drove to another store. And he's like, I can't find peanut butter brittle. I'm like, yes, get <laughs> peanut butter related shit. And he's like, oh yeah. And he's like, I found peanut butter Reese's Pieces, but they're very big. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> they okay. make my teeth hurt. <laughs> <laughs> don't taste good. And I'm like, fucking idiot. <laughs> Just get up anything peanut butter really. Go to a 7-Eleven, please. And then he finally did it. And then I think he uh, he was like, I can't find the house. And I'm like, fucking Christ. I think in the end it took him two hours when it was supposed to take him 30 minutes. And then he sent you a photo and his leg no clip through the door and he's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> he sank into the peanut butter. I can't get out. <laughs> his rag all went out of control. I'm like, Mr. I'm gonna rate you seven out of six. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a big tip. I'm gonna give you a virus. <laughs> Postmates virus. Your, uh, oh fuck! Whoa! Whoa. Take gamer mushroom. Thank wow. you. Thanks, man. Thank wow. you. That's the power of loot crate. That's what happens when you get your new loot crate. <laughs> did, I, did I ever tell you guys about my fucking loot crate story? Yeah. I didn't sign anything, so I'm allowed to talk about it. They what got... happened? Uh, so I besides the they, fact that you got a loot crate, you loved all the content yeah. inside. Well, <laughs> well, they um, they fucking offered me a a deal to do loot crates, God, and I was like, damn it, I. I'm not exactly the kind of figure or person to fucking make a, a loot crate video. So I'm like, can I it's make really a fucking like sponsored video that's just like generally making fun of loot crate videos? And they were like, yeah, do it. And that was pretty cool of them initially. Yeah. So I made I made one and it was pretty funny actually. It's actually one of my, my favorite videos that I've made. Then I made a second one and then uh when I went to make the third one. I, I looked at the comments for the second one because I had to recreate a shot from it and I, I saw in the comments, hey, my code isn't working for Loot Crate and they basically canceled without telling me and oh. I was like, I was like almost all the way through the video. So I had one <laughs> joke that was like a little bit too far that I was thinking of cutting out that I hadn't filmed yet. Uh, and I, I kind of found that out, like, that I God wasn't gonna it. get paid for it after I had made it. So yeah, there's like a joke that's like two and a half minutes of me jerking off into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the funniest thing is, the, so the, the jerking off joke, there is like this Thanos glove that's like an oven mitt. And I said it was a masturbation gauntlet or something. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I just have like this fucking scene of me jerking off to loud opera music. You can't do that, Lyle. <clears throat> you well, can't do that! Here, here's the funny twist, is that that might save them in court one day. Fuck. Because that <laughs> Thanos gauntlet, uh, the oven mitt had to be recalled because it was fucking burning through people's hands when they were like taking their cookie sheets yeah, out of the did, oven. Now, did it burn through your big... Yeah, I shot a fucking thing. hot load and it melted all the way through it yeah. and I was like, whoa, I'm hands, glad I didn't fucking stick this in the oven because that would be like a whole like eight and a half degrees hotter than my ejaculate, your hands, your big which sits at a powder. nice at a nice 312 degrees. Naturally, your big fat penis sits at a hot yeah. temperature. <laughs> so that's that's why that happened. 
<laughs> what, why your big fat hot penis is warm? What? That was, that was, that was bullshit! Fucking go to hell, Mario! <laughs> he did. Oh boy, it sure smells awful down here. It's cause probably the dead pig corpses that are fucking laid around everywhere. No, what would you do if you were walking through an Irish field and you just happened upon this scene right here? Dude, in Ireland, when you're in, <laughs> when you're like, when you're like eight, they show you videos of kids Getting Woo. fucking drowning in quicksand. Yeah, it's awesome. Did you Wait, see that what? in school? No, Niall. What Dude, the fuck are you school, talking about? In school, they made us sit around the TV, and they put on, like, a compilations of kids getting drowning in quicksand. <laughs> I swear to God, they did that. <laughs> was it called Epic Drowning in Quicksand Montage? No, it was, like, was kids it? sitting on a fucking shed roof, and then they were slipping off. And, like, literally, I have nightmares to this day Wait, where quicks, I'm on a roof. Where's their quicksand in Ireland? They just keep warning Is you about quicksand. Is there quicksand in Ireland? Uh, yeah, they keep warning us about it. What? I know. What the fuck is that? What are those? This is all, all these little chicks. Aww. Little fucking chicks, you little bastards. <laughs> little, little culture. Did you, ever see, did you ever see those videos of like the little ducklings or the little chicks like blowing down? A, it's so fucked up. They like, the wind blows them and they like, some of them fall down a drain. Mm. Did I ever tell you about that time me and Jack O'Carroll were walking down uh, Wexford? No, you, you know where the Wexford Creamery is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We we're walking on this big ass busy street near there. And uh, we came across these ducks, and we were we were recording it. We were like, "Look at all the little baby ducks!" And then uh, uh, we 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 noticed no. that they were all starting to run onto the road. And no, we were, and we were all like, "Oh no!" So we started trying to gather them up. So Jack was like, "You go this way, and I'll go this way." And we're just like trying to gather these little baby ducks. And I I, I got my side, and I put them all back onto the the safety of the sidewalk. Onto the road. And I was like, "Wow, I did it! I did something good!" And I just heard Jack go. Crap! <laughs> and we, no! I look over and there's just this like red spot on the road <laughs> with a little tiny duck foot sticking out of it. Oh my fucking felt, god. Felt, like evaporated. It felt so bad. <gasps> oh. It looks so fucking pretty. Mario's drooling face. Yeah. He's Mar losing it. Mario's grueling cock. I love his shiny little shoes. Where do you think he got them made? Uh... What's he gonna use these moons? For? Probably stole them out of an Italian warehouse. He walked in and said he worked there. You know what? For all the obvious jokes that you could make in game parodies, I've never seen one of, Oh, Mario is in the Mafia. Really? Yeah. I've seen one of those. Mario says, Did uh, you uh, sell uh, the mushrooms? <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time? I, I, I stole the first 10 minutes of the Mario movie and wrote it as an essay in school. What? <laughs> I ever tell you about Did you that? get an A plus? I, no, tell like how. Oh, I was in I was in like primary school, so I was like eleven. But the teacher's like, write a, a fictional essay, and I just wrote down the first ten minutes of the Mario movie. Jesus, how did it end? It didn't. <laughs> I got as far as the baby hatching. <laughs> oh no, I got as far as I wrote down like, it's raining. A woman runs through the rain. <laughs> it's that kind of shit. I'll buy it, buy a new outfit. You want a poncho? Yeah. yeah. Julian can have a free pass. Look, I am a Julian. A boo -ba -loo -ba -dee -ba -dee. <laughs> Oh, are they all wearing this same shit as me now? Put it in a. They got little sombreros on. Are they doing that because of me? <laughs> yeah, they said, well, if it's all right for him, I guess we can pretend to be Mexican too. <laughs> it's cultural appropriation. Yeah. They're appropriating Mario's culture. You remember the Punisher? Oh yeah, the, the 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 PS2 one. Yeah, I remember when that was coming out. I read in a in a magazine. It was like you can use the analog sticks to choose how hard you want to kill somebody by holding their head into a fire pit and mm -hmm. pushing him in. And I was like, yeah. that sounds amazing! You and I waited months cat. and months and months and months, and I kept calling Extra Vision, being like, do you have the Punisher yet? And they're like, no. I'm like, ugh! And then, I want a fucking kill! No, yeah, I was getting really fucking mad. I remember by the last day, I was like, I called them up and I was really fucking mad. I'm like, do you have the Punisher? And they're like, no. I'm like, fine. And I just never thought about it again. I never played it. It's on PC. You, it, you can play with controller. Is it even good? Yeah, it's actually really fun. Oh. Uh, <laughs> There's a part where you where you uh, interrogate any guy with a wood chipper. And you're pushing him in. If you push too far, or he dies like that. Uh. But right before he dies, he says, I have a family, 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 family. <laughs> and every time Punisher kills someone like that, he says like a cheesy one-liner. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, you're chip off the old block. I really, uh, I really wanted to play it. Uh. Hitman Requiem.
Okay, that was pretty good, Tomar. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. That time you actually gave it your my all. My eyeballs fucking opened up very wide. The little red tree veins in my eyes. Shut bulged. up! You guys are so mean. Watch. I'm gonna take a pic of Chris's eyes right now. I can post it. Look, that's Chris's eyeballs right like now. Like little red lightning bolts. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> Please ignore the did yellow your, of my eyes. Did your eyeballs just make that noise? <laughs> <laughs> One of the funniest things you can do to your friends is Photoshop their eyes to be slightly yellow. Really? <laughs> Why is it the funniest? <laughs> oh, you have jaundice, dude! It's like, hey, I sent you your pictures you wanted. Hey, man, I took these pictures of my house. I do, I, I do enjoy fucking with people with Photoshop. <laughs> Did I tell you about the story where Jaxie convinced, like, a girl that she had ghosts in her house by, like, <laughs> really quickly snapping, like, a screenshot and, like, dumping it in Photoshop in, like, a minute? <laughs> and a photoshopping a ghost in the background, who, who, yeah. Was this person your actual friend? Or no, was this was, like, like, a random person on, like, Justin TV. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Was this, like, a complete stranger? Yeah. Uh. She and, like, a couple friends were just, like, just, like, hopped into, like, some random person's stream. It was like this girl, she was maybe like 18, and Jaxie's like, I think you got, I think your house is haunted. She's like, what are you talking about? No. She's like, yeah, yeah, I swear I just saw a ghost behind you, and then sends her this thing that looks like a, just, like a screen cap she just took, <laughs> and it's got this weird, like, silhouette figure like behind her, and she just, she just fucking turns, like, white on cam. Oh my god. There's something to a ghost. That's so fucking mean. <laughs> Did she? Did you ever clarify? Did Jax ever clarify that it was not? I don't think so. There was not really a phantom. I don't think she ever did. That's why I honestly hate Jaxie's gut. She's always up to like no good. She's been photoshopping me in a casket for years and threatening me. <laughs> <laughs> she mailed me a pipe bomb. Luckily, it wasn't activating. Oh, uh, you guys, that's all just her joking around. That's her way of saying she likes you. She threw a grenade at me, but luckily the handkerchief it was wrapped up inside of prevented it from going off. <laughs> See, she didn't want to kill anybody. <laughs> Do you know that's what really happened to George W. Bush? Really? Someone wrapped a hand grenade in a <laughs> handkerchief and threw it at Wait, him? Really? Yeah, because of the handkerchief, it uh, didn't uh, go off. That's true. I did not know I that. that I did not know that a handkerchief Ooh. could disable the function of a grenade, either. I, I, I forget exactly the logistics of it, but it definitely that's, that is what happened. And it was not the shoe incident, it was a different thing. Um, hmm. Yeah. Jaxie really likes, like, dousing battery acid in her rag and <laughs> whipping it at people. Come on, that's just a joke. That's just for fun. That Come is a joke, but it's not too funny you at don't, all. You don't have to be so so critical of her sense of humor. It's it's become less eerie and more just terrifying now. Fuck! <laughs> You're so scary. scared thinking about it. <laughs> I it really happens every time a video game man falls, my legs clench up like I like I'm Expecting impact. It's a digital space. Your varicose veins shoot out mustard. Julian, it's just a marble. They can't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hurt you. They're not real. <laughs> when I was uh, really young, I remember I went to the doctor because I shoved a marble up my nose. And my mom brought me to the doctor and he got it out with a little scissors. Wow. <laughs> You cut it, your nose open. Is it because you watch the whole movies episode? Okay, no. kids, that's that's your motivation to not put marbles in your nose. They have to cut it out with scissors. Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember the whole movie. Fuck! The whole movies episode with his little sister. Well, they use scissors on her too, don't they? Do they? Did they? I remember they use like little clamps on her nose to get them out. Oh. My grandma, she, she, when we went, we went to Italy to see the Pope, we literally went to the Vatican, the Pope was out in his little Pope mobile and shit. Uh huh. And my grandma was like, I need him to bless something, but she had nothing on her except for little tiny scissors. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it again! Hold on, hold on! Oh. It comes back! I, was, <laughs> I don't want to wait. I was wait. just gonna say. But he blessed her scissors, and then when we were coming back through the airport, they wouldn't let her keep him. Oh my god! They were like, this is a dangerous weapon. She was like, what the pole? Were they on her person, <laughs> or were they in the luggage? Because as far as I know, if it's in the luggage, you're allowed. I'm not sure. She might have just been being, being a silly old woman. Was she swinging them around at everybody in the airport? <laughs> yeah, she was like, the pop! Okay, the well, see, that might the have been- The pop! <laughs> <laughs> the power! <laughs> Mm, this lady's kind of sad. <laughs> Bab, can we have those scissors? My grandma was funny. I like that effect when the when the light crosses across the camera and it just kind of goes white for a frame. I bet an Asian man had a heart attack coding that. I bet, I, I bet he went blind making this this level. There we go. See, they <laughs> have these little the secrets. What wow, is secret? Tomar, you like know the fucking secrets of this. I don't know any game. of them. Tomar, how hard I did you laugh? I have forgotten them. How hard did you laugh when Rob Walker ran in dressed as Santa Christ <laughs> and he said, Is that secret? Is that safe? Tomar. I, I don't know. <laughs> Tomar, here's a scenario. I you know. Were trying I, to, you were trying to give. You were trying to get pregnant with your wife, if you know what I'm saying. 
Okay. Yeah. You, your wife, you're, you try to get your pony wife who's pregnant. Like a tubby wubby pony yes, wife. Yes, <laughs> yes, and she says to you, Melvin, oh. Melvin, brother, the Joker, Melvin, Melvin. Now, how quickly do you come? Is it A, one second, <laughs> B, and you, down, and you look down, A. and you like, A. you look down, and, the, and the, you look down, as, as your oh. bedroom light's flashing, yeah. The one scary frame her face is that of Melvin, brother of the Joker. Who's Melvin, brother of the Joker, by the way? <laughs> he's Melvin. Melvin, brother of the Joker. Uh, Melvin, bro it's, it's one of Doug Walker's earliest videos where he's dressed up as Heath Ledger's Joker. <laughs> he led the Heath Ledger go Joker. And it, it's considered one of his unfunniest videos. <laughs> but I, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna, gonna fucking lie to myself. You gonna come with the bad form on this one? I literally, me, me and my friend Jack, when we were like that, at the age when that came out, oh, we, we no, thought that was the funniest no. shit. <laughs> Wait, that came out like 2015, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was three no, years ago. No, no, it came out- no, that was one of his earliest fuck- That's like 10 years old, almost. How old do you think you were? Like, like 16? Pro- 16 or 17, I don't know. I was too old. 17's a bit too old, yeah. Yeah. It was like 14 or 15, it's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna say, you know what, he liked it a little more than I did, okay? Yeah, you gotta- you gotta- I wanna, I wanna backtrack Speaking here. Speaking of Jack, didn't you say you had a good story about when you guys were in college? Or when, <laughs> no, some, when he was in college. He was in college. Uh, so, you know, he's just... So my friend Jack is this big buff Irish guy, he's like... He's been on the only place, right? Yeah, yeah, but people don't really know what he looks like. He's like a, a fucking tank. He's, he's the manliest man I've ever known. But when he went to college, he went to do some course. And, like, it was just like a... Like either a medical or an engineering course. It's something really normal, right? Mm -hmm. But he said that he was standing at his bus stop and a guy just came up like in a trench coat. He's like, Hey, you like Pokemon? And he was like, Yeah, I love Pokemon. And, like, but he doesn't even like Pokemon that much. He just remembers just liking lied. Pokemon. Yeah, but then the guy gave him a fucking a memory stick with Pokemon Fire Red on it. And he, he said that <laughs> he was doing that to everyone in his college. Just some fucking creepy guy was oh. walking around, giving people Pokemon Fire Red on a memory stick, and, he, and the whole college got addicted to it when exams were coming up. Wait, what, what so it was just is... like it was just like an emulator and yeah. a ROM of Pokemon Fire. <laughs> yeah, some Red. creepy fucking Irish guy was walking around. Was he like their age or was he yeah. like forty years old? No, he's just, he was he was some creepy guy their age, but he was wearing a trench coat and he's taking <laughs> memory sticks of Pokemon Fire Red out he of his trench really coat. Get like a hundred of those. <laughs> I know. And he was just giving it to people for free. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what was his end game? I, I don't know. It's so would, fucking weird. I, he just wanted people Dude, to trade probably, Pokemon with. He probably accessed everyone's fucking webcams or something. That does not add up. There's something. <laughs> so, there's like, it's so possible. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know, yeah, like, I didn't know he didn't install a virus in the emulator. That's, that's probably a good point. That I is, never that thought is about most that. most likely what happened if you really think he about it. He saw a bunch of co-eds uh, uh, changing or something. <laughs> Blood does smell really bad. Blood just smells awful. Have you ever, like, cut your finger and sucked on your finger and you're like, Oh yeah, there's the, the taste of it. What's the worst injury you ever took? Um... Worst injury... I keep breaking my fingers. I tripped and fell down the stairs because I was excited we moved into a new home. <laughs> and my tooth went right through, like, the bottom of my lip. Jesus. When I, you know what, the worst pain I ever was in was I went to some restaurant and I got a piece of chicken stuck between my teeth. And, uh, it just started rotting. Yeesh. And and it rotted my tooth. And I couldn't get it out, it was so far lodged in between there. And I had no idea what it was, I had to go to the dentist and he picked it out. The, I, this is me revealing myself as a fucking wussy, but I think the worst pain that I've ever had was when I had the stomach flu. Whoa. I got it from, uh, having ramen, I remember. I was talking to you, uh, when that happened, Julian. Oh yeah, I remember that. I do remember that. I think they- didn't we both have the stomach flu, like, around the same time? I think time? so, yeah. Like, it was in the space of a month or two. And not only was it, like, really painful and it was just constant vomiting, but then yeah. it was, like, it's not even diarrhea, it's just pure liquid coming out of you, and it's, like, spraying out oh, violently. Oh man, that was- they, I had a- I had a funny hallucination. For- for everyone watching, fever I hope dream. you enjoy that. I had a fever <laughs> dream when- when I had the stomach flu that because there was an animation job that I was behind on and I couldn't work on because of the stomach flu. Uh, and so I had a I had a fever dream that I was an animator on the My Little Pony cartoon, the, the new one that everybody loved. And so I woke up, I woke up from the dream and I went, no more ponies, no! <laughs> Did I ever tell you about how my sister talks in her sleep? Tell us, Chris. She sounds like the exorcist. She goes like, <laughs> it's really scary. You should hear Julian in his sleep. She grinds what her teeth. What have I said? The the one I remember was that you were saying, like, oh, I gotta get the Christmas tree up. 
<laughs> and then the, the one that I remember that was really weird to me was that you said the bonsai tree, he cut it down. Oh, yeah, and I was talking, about, talking Kappa. about fucking Kappa Mikey. I was Mikey. talking about Kappa Mikey. <laughs> we watched an episode of Kappa Mikey, which, by the way, is fucking terrible. Yeah, it's an awful show. Not it even, is like, so Not bad. even funny bad. It is unbelievably it's really, bad. really hard to sit What is Kappa Mikey? It was a it was a terrible terrible uh, Nicktoons exclusive show. Oh, and the premise I like the premise, but they did absolutely nothing. It with doesn't it. look like what it's supposed to be either. The it's premise supposed to be is an American cartoon yeah, that goes to Japan. Yeah, so he like it's an American cartoon interacts with anime characters, and they never take any advantage of that oh. premise. And it doesn't look like it either. It's not. It doesn't look like anime no. because it's like it doesn't shitty look like flash a Western animators. cartoon either. It looks like a Canadian cartoon if anything. Yeah. And you were just, you were mumbling about how he cut down the bonsai tree. <laughs> I couldn't believe that this is what you're dreaming about. I don't know why. But the other one, you said you were on a, a train, and you were mentioning how there was Christmas lights hung up. Well, okay then. <laughs> My sister did really fucking weird shit in her sleep. We were in Spain, as kids, and she got out of bed, just sleepwalking, and she, she ran down the hall to a fire escape door. Which is pretty much just a door that leads to nothing, and you fall out of it and die. And she opened it, and my dad grabbed her and shook her awake. <laughs> and another time she pulled me out of bed and like, stomped me on the floor and got into my bed. Though she might have just been awake and pretending to be asleep. Yeah, she, she said, shut up, turd. <laughs> That's actually, you just reminded me of a scary thing that happened. I mean, uh, a scary I, thing? When I was living with Niall, uh... He, he, he was getting annoyed with the clock. He takes the batteries out and leaves it on the counter. The next day... The clock's back up on the wall. I'm like, God damn it, because I didn't like it either. I take out the batteries and put it on the counter. And then we, we both find out we did the same thing. And we're like, why, why did... Why was the batteries put back in the clock then? And neither of us knew why. And it turns out it was because he actually put it up, but he was messing with you. It, probably. Well, there was weird <laughs> shit that happened in that apartment where... My fucking ketchup just exploded out of the cupboard one night. Are you saying your apartment was haunted, Chris? Yes. There was a ghost and he made the ketchup blow up. I don't he, believe in ghosts. And he made me leave my food out and it got moldy. I don't believe in ghosts, but ketchup exploding from inside of a cupboard doesn't make any sense. And it 100%... No, I, I can see that happening. Why? Just because from pressure? Sorry, cupboard like, pressure? Or fell down or something. No, it didn't. It exploded from within the cupboard. The explosion clearly and happened then, from within the closed. I could see the ghost of an old woman through the That's ketchup. That's me. As it that was my out. story. Don't make fun of Chris for my story. I just said I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> I'm just saying it makes no sense. Chris, Ooh, I am the ghost of exploding ketchup. You should be. In, you should be in a ghost hunting documentary. Go with what Chris Bors. Go Chris ghost Bors won't talk to me. <laughs> I'm too similar to him. He says, "You look like me." I said, no, I don't. Chris, I'm ready to hunt the ghost with you. I saw the ketchup ghost. What if he was... You saw the ketchup ghost? What, what if, the hell? What if Chris Bors is telekinetic? And he did that. And he, he doesn't understand his he powers. Did a, he did a mind crush on the ketchup <laughs> and made it explode. He on doesn't him. understand his powers, so he thinks they're ghosts. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh! <laughs> he pushed his, his friend down the stairs. <laughs> and the it was a ghoul. It was a ghoul. What does he say? It was either a rape victim or a goblin? Yeah. It can only be one of those two things. What if it was a rape victim goblin? That, that was that was haunted investigators. That was the one video that he he says. Did you hear that? It either could have been the the ghost of a rape victim or a goblin. <laughs> Why did he say goblin? Goblins aren't real. Chris, what? Chris, how dare you? Why Are you gonna disprove scientific fact? Why didn't he say a ghoulie? <laughs> was that a ghoulie? Because <laughs> it's too funny goblin. coming from him. <laughs> and a goblin doesn't. Goblin isn't as funny as Ghoulie. Yeah. That's like if he, he got scared by a ghost and he went, Jeepers Creepers! <laughs> <laughs> it's Mario. Anything's possible. He's floating. Hi. I love you. <laughs> he jumps out of a window. That's what he says in my oh, dreams. That's my creepy pasta. <laughs> Mario says I love you, the creepy pasta. Yeah. <laughs> I love Mario you so much. Mario sends me the I love you virus. <laughs> do you remember that? I do. Every time you type in V V V V V V V, it says I love you. Excuse me. That's no, it's whatever you type in. It, it makes it say I love you. Oh, it was, like, it was a, Chris. It was it, the the original was that it was an email that if you opened it because Microsoft Outlook fucking sucked and everything was exploitable. I remember that. NDA, yeah. It would circulate itself between all of your contacts, so it just kept spreading outwards. 
I'm probably thinking of a different virus. Windows was really vulnerable way back. You could open anything and it could just fuck with you. One of the first viruses I ever got was, um, a fucking naked lady would appear on screen spreading her pussy and try to connect to a server to buy something. And it would, it would come up every 10 minutes. Did you get Bonzi Buddy? Nope. I had Bonzi Buddy. <laughs> Did you really? I actually, actually. I actually got Bonzi Buddy as a kid. Like, I think I downloaded you, you all of those. You thought it was fun, like, or, yes. or because you knew, because like, I oh, liked, this is... I liked click, clickable, what were they, clickmates or something? Desktop yeah, I, buddies? Yeah, like desktop buddies. I, I had one of those. I, I loved the idea of those when I was a little kid, because I'm a baby, and I was entertained <laughs> by simple things. So I, I fell for Bonzi Buddy. I got Comet Cursor, I remember. Uh, what else did I get? I downloaded so many of those. So, is Bonsai I, I, Buddy just considered a virus? Yeah, because it, it would mail out personal information really? to their servers. Mm -hmm. And it would ask you for it all the time, too. Oh. I never, I never really heard of it until recently. But, uh... It's a little purple monkey, right? Yeah. Here. I was, I mean, I was using the internet since, like, 1996. So, that was not a, not a good point to let a, a small child on the internet when everything was very easy to exploit. I'm trying to remember which one I had. I, I had I had a desktop buddy, but I can't remember what it was. I had a turkey and you could cut its head off. <laughs> <laughs> I had something that walked around the screen. It was the fucking Bloodhound Gang! It was the fucking little monkeys from the from that video. Oh, really? Yeah. And it, that was a virus. Was it? Yeah, I remember it fucked up my computer really bad. Was it official? I don't think so. Did they sing the song? I forget. Oh my god. <laughs> um... They'd say, sex, baby, sex, baby, then they point to the corner and a pop-up ad appears and <laughs> I, I had a game called Warning Forever that was free and I loved it, but every time I installed it, it fucked up every computer I ever installed it on. But I still liked it so much that so I kept doing it. I mean, I, I remember doing... The thing was, I had, I had family who were, they were paranoid about viruses, so I had... My favorite game for the PC when I was younger was Windows uh, 3D Movie Maker. I loved the shit out of 3D Movie Maker. <laughs> I play it all the time. I had Nickelodeon 3D Movie Maker too. And what ended up happening was that it crashed one time just because things would crash all the time. Yeah. Because Windows is unstable. And uh, the error message popped up and my mom saw it and she freaked out saying, Is that a virus? Is that a virus? And she ended up throwing the disc out oh of the game. Oh my god. Oh lord. She <laughs> thought it infected the PC. Oh. Turns out it was because she downloaded a theme for Valentine's Day that had a virus attached to it. I hate it when parents do stupid shit that they think doesn't matter, but really does. Uh, like, like I remember when my mom gave away my Sega Genesis. My mom used to do that all the time. And I, I got she home. Would, she would blame me. I got home and I was like, where's my Sega? I, I'm She's sure like, uh, everybody that was in our yes. age group at that time, that had, probably happened. Probably had most of your possessions thrown out and everything. No, you know? but she was like, I traded your Genesis for some toys. I'm like, I, I fucking love my Genesis. And the toys she traded it for was two Mighty Max figure sets. Oh my god. That's what she gave away a Genesis wow. for. She had no fucking idea. Did she not remember how much she spent on the Genesis? Apparently not. And the guy who she gave it to was like, Dude, your mom is the best! And I was like, yeah, fuck you, <laughs> asshole. You tricked my mom. I, I just remember friends also like lending each other games and everything, and I fell for that. Yeah. Where they steal your games and never give them back. Oh man, I remember a kid. I, I got I, back at somebody for that, though. I yeah. lent, uh... I no, I tell that story. I'm I did, sure too. Give a lot of people... I'm, no, I remember a guy scratched up one of my games, so I stole one of his games and snapped it in two because I didn't like the game, but he did. <laughs> what, like immediately in front no, of him? No, not in front of him. I stole it and just did it, and I left it in the ditch somewhere. <laughs> in a ditch? You should have let him see it. He just, he never knew that I did or, like, it. email him anonymously. <laughs> I was a little passive-aggressive bitch about it. I, I was like eight or something, though. It's your Mr. Grandia 2 copy. I, I never, I never felt good about the whole stealing thing though, because I remember the one time I was tempted to do it was that a kid had crazy bones, and uh, he insisted one of them was really rare, even though no, they fucking weren't. Yeah, it's crazy bones. The, I think the only thing I ever stole besides that was like a, a Kinex piece. <laughs> and I felt so guilty. I ran back to the guy's house that, and, I, and I slipped it back into his that was, thing. That was the same thing that happened. Was that he brought over a Pokemon thing. And he left it under something, and I was like, oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. Yeah. He'll be, like, stealing it, and I'll have it. No, I... Oh, but no, he, no. He, he, freaked, he freaked out and was, like, crying and everything. Like, where is it? I felt so fucking bad. I just 
I snuck it back in the room so he could find it, and I was just like, okay, just take it, please. <laughs> I can't do this. No, yeah, stealing ain't good. <laughs> No. I remember one time I was hanging out with this girl that There's I was- There's plenty of people who don't feel bad about it. No, you know, I was I was hanging out with this girl, I'm like, oh, she's so hot. And she's like, ha, I stole this, like, sweater the other day, and I was like, what? What? Okay. She's like, yeah, um, these people who own these stores, like, they don't even get affected. Like, it's a big chain. I'm like, they're gonna get fired because of you fucking idiot. I think I was getting another job. She's the most unattractive thing ever. I- My parents own shops, too, so it, like, hit home. Yeah. I, I hate bitch. Dude. Yeah. When it's a thing with kids, like I expect it at least, but it's when if no, you're she talking, was like twenty. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're talking to adults who are still doing that kind of thing, that's when it's they're boring. not stable people. Yeah, because I I knew somebody years back who every single day would brag like, yeah, I went to a party and I I stole, that, yes! I stole like three. I laptops. stayed with these fucking scumbags in college, and they were like, oh, we went to a party last night, stole an iPod. It's like you're fucking. Idiots! And I started locking my door after that. I was really <laughs> fucking worried. And then they were like, "Why didn't you ever hang out with us?" It like, doesn't make you look cool. Because I, I don't want to fucking kind of get robbed out. from you, fucking psychos. They're like, Chris used to hang out with us. Now he just locks himself in his room. It's like, yeah, it's because you steal from people. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be an alibi. <laughs> and I don't want to. I don't want to bring it up with you because a, a normal, mentally st stable person wouldn't do that. So I don't know what you're capable of mm -hmm. if bringing up something. Well, like yeah, that. you said they say. That sucks. Let's steal from him. Yeah, pretty much. Let's beat the shit out of him. He knows our secret. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking kill him. I say there's like a turning point for people that they... If they haven't changed with that sort of thing, you can kind of expect them to never grow out of it. He was like 24, you should've known. Yeah, oh my god. Exactly. I'd say around like 20... Yeah, if, that, if, you're, if that's 22, still going on. The other fucking I'm gonna say dork. 20. Like, before you even hit 20, you should not be- I think early there. 20s, there can still be a little bit of a window where people might- Yeah, you like can still mature mentality. at that point, but yeah, then true. it's like, but they're, they're, they're not gonna want to, yeah. is the thing. Super early 20s, if, if you If I knew someone who was yet. over 16 stealing shit, I wouldn't trust them ever again. Yeah. I mean, it's malicious, but it has to be really harsh You should know better change. by that point. I don't care if you're a fucking teenager. The most I ever stole was my friend's uh, Pokemon, and he said I quit earlier, but I just stole his ba Game Boy from his backpack while he was in detention. And then he got really mad because I did it without his permission, and I felt so bad I never stole again in my life. <laughs> Some the, people the, just literally don't have a conscience. You know how schools do those things where, like, oh, we don't want to, we, we have to raise money by having kids sell candy bars. And I just fucking, I bought, I brought back one of the boxes that we were supposed to sell, and I just ate all the candy bars. Oh, really? It was, it was really, like, <laughs> I was really ashamed of it, too. And my, like, my mom was, like, really mad. She was like, I have to fucking pay for all this now, because you didn't fucking sell the candy bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, like, that's candy bars from fucking school. I despise school so much. So, so much. School is, I'm so happy that I never have to do it again. Yeah. I used to have nightmares. Of course! Nightmares. I have so much nightmares. It fucks you up! It's not good! Do you have dreams that you're back at school and yeah. you never finished? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's always dreams that you were like, oh, there's a test you didn't prepare for, or like, I've literally had dream. I've had dreams, and I know that it's such a cliche, but I've had the dream where it's like, oh, you thought you were done with school, but uh, turns out you didn't actually graduate, and now you gotta go back, and you forgot everything, so you're gonna do really poorly. I mean, that's the sort of dream. The the thing is, I, I don't have it like, oh, I actually, now you need to go back. Usually what I have is like, oh, yeah, you, you never you never finish, and you're still waiting on this one thing, so you're, you're like, 20, 26, and you're going back in, like, oh, ha, ha, you, you still had one test you needed to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I had those ones where you, like, um, I, I go, I, I've been going to school this whole time, but I forgot everything, and I can't find my classes, and I have these all these tests lined up. And I'm just like, I feel like an idiot. I think I'm the scared. worst one I, I had as a dream was that I was back in school again, and they, they, I had already repeated like three years already, and I was like 29 in the dream. I was older for some reason. And the, the idea was like, oh, yeah, you're going to have to keep repeating for like six more years to make <laughs> oh, all no. the classes that you hadn't taken before. Did I ever tell you about the nightmare moment I had in real life? Where it was so outlandish and crazy, it could have just been a nightmare that I would wake up from, but it was real. Tell us. Where I was walking downtown, and I came across this guy that I barely knew in school, and I used to just stop and say hello to everybody, just be nice. Oh, and then I said, like, Yo, dude, how are you doing? He's like, 
Not good. And I'm like, why not? He's like, I got cancer. Oh I'm going to die in two years, dude. I'm like, that's the always funny pilot. No, no, but this was real. And he's like, I'm going to die in two years. And I was like, what? He's like, it's not, it's not, I, I can't, I can't do this. I was like, what? I'm so sorry. He's like, it's not, fuck you. Fuck you. And he like walked away. And I was like, what the fuck? Jesus. It was bad. That's heavy. And I was like, Jesus. Was that real? <laughs> it was weird. Julian, what age were you Sorry. at your most stupid? Probably when I was... Besides being one. a stupid child? Yeah. <laughs> when you're old enough to, like, function as a human. Um... I, I would say teen... teenagers. Yeah. That's the same for everyone. I was really dummy. I was really dummy. Ah, you're right. What was the funniest prank you ever pulled? One time I, I pushed my father into a knife and he died. I never did any funny pranks, unfortunately. One time my dad was walking by me and I was a kid and I saw it in the cartoon where another character sticks out his leg and they trip over. Oh, I uh, remember doing that. I did that to my dad and he just tripped and looked at me and went, yeah, What the just, fuck are you doing?! <laughs> they, people just get mad because you can get hurt. Yeah. He, he tumbled on his knees and got back up and put his fists up. <laughs> what the fuck?! No, he literally just went, What the fuck are you doing?! And I was like, Ah! <laughs> How old were you, Chris? Um, six, seven. <laughs> there was another time- that makes, it, that makes it even funnier, you were so young and yeah. you got that anger. There was another time where I was just lying face down on the floor, just like doing nothing, and my dad walked into the room and he went, Chris? And I didn't- I did I just didn't look at him and he went, Chris! Oh, I got him hiccuping, he went, Chris! Oh, I got him hiccuping from screaming! <laughs> Fuck! I needed to get this joke, sorry. He went, Chris! So fuck, I'm hiccuping every I'm time. Sorry, Chris. Fuck. Do it. Because <laughs> you went, Chris! Why, right? why am I hiccuping every time I scream? He went, Chris! I got it. I can't went, not Chris, do it. We got it. What did he do? Uh, I, went, I looked around and went, What? <laughs> and he was like, What the fuck are you doing? I was like, I'm just lying here. <laughs> and I was really young. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Why am I hiccuping? <laughs> I hate this. Because it's funny. I like the, uh, the evolution of the word prank, because now, uh, the <laughs> most horrible thing you could ever do to somebody, showing that you prank. have no respect for them in any way whatsoever, is a prank. It's true. I'm hiccuping real bad. I'm sorry, Chris. Like abusing your child. <laughs> Be okay, don't die. Ow. <laughs> One time I hiccuped really hard for like a day straight and I was crying by the end of it. Aww. You know, there's a woman who hiccuped for 14 years. 14 years! That sucks. You know what happened to her? She, she uh... Her neck stretched out because she her head was bouncing every time she did it. Would that not, like, ruin your chest muscles to hiccup, like, for 14 I assume. years straight? I don't know what it would do to you. Can Here's I, a coin. Can I confess Come something? On. Yeah. Scream it to the heavens, boy. Um, whenever I'm in public and I'm with a friend and a retarded person walks by us, the person that I'm with always looks at me and expects me to make fun of them. Because <laughs> that MacFest panel... <laughs> no, but I didn't make uh. fun of anyone! I, I was being nice. I mean, are you saying that man has problems mentally? <laughs> no. I mean, you're the one who asked for fucking you, memes! No. Yeah, 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 no, that was me. I, no, I, I, gave uh. Mick, I gave Mick the Woodford Reserve and I asked Jack C about memes. <laughs> I ruined that panel. Okay, Since man. we're in a video game convention, what's well, some hot video game cartoons you can make some sweet memes out of? Uh, what, what's, what's the strangest environment you could add Mario into? Uh, the Tommy Wiseau show. <laughs> hey, Mario me. sees these as his children. Yes, Chris. This is not real. <laughs> <laughs> Chris? What are you talking about? What Bullshit. You, what are you saying, Chris? What if Mario's what, not my friend? What's the point of wasting your time? What about Mario meets Border Town? <laughs> <laughs> I watched like ten episodes of Border Town. Well, ten? Ep were there that many episodes? Yeah, there's, there's only ten. I remember when we were at your place, Chris. We saw one episode, and I was like face down in your beanbag chair, screaming my lungs out. <laughs> it's fucking awful. Uh, Mario meets Brickleberry. Oh, that's the last one. I liked when Brickleberry was making Facebook posts saying, If you can get us 10,000 likes, we'll show you her tits. Really? Yeah, the character from the show. Oh boy. That was their way of enticing people to spread it around. I remember I, I, I was, like, this is what back when I was just responding to everything. I responded to a Brickleberry Facebook post. I said, your animation sucks. I was being really mean. One of the animators came on, he's like, oh, I'm very proud of my work, actually. Oof. 
kind of brickleberry? Yeah. Okay. I feel bad for Only animators in Canada. Why? They're not allowed to work on anything good. No. Oh. That's true. Government pays for it. That's why it's not good. I mean, I yeah. always, I always point out the if you look, go back to the old shit from the, the Canadian Film Board funded cartoons. They're so good. That's true. And Nel now they can't. Nelvana do way back. Nelvana was doing. They were, a good job. they were really good. And then rock and roll happened, and they started. And they gave up. Yeah. I think it was right after that that they just started doing. So, yeah. They started doing like Care Bear stuff. Are you saying the Care Bears movie wasn't good? Yes. But they resurrect a girl. Through they do. love. They you know, do do that. I feel we should- school. you wanted to watch those it, recently? I, I mean, we probably it, should. It's essentially a ritual. They circle around her and do it. <laughs> I'm surprised that- did- did- maybe anybody that was old enough to have experienced the Care Bears mania? Was there like a backlash to it where people said it was satanic? Probably. They say everything is. They say Pokemon satanic. Exactly, yeah. Pokemon is satanic. We saw Pokemon live. We <laughs> oh, fucking shit. Talk about that. Uh, well, Julian. Yeah. Uh, how should we approach it? First first of all, uh, the person who played uh, James went on to do Book of Mormon. Huh. Oh, the um, he escaped the madness. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all the songs from the To Be a Master album with like two originals. Uh, Talk about your favorite. Giovanni is Ash's dad. Giovanni has a villain song, and in the middle of it, Jesse and James come out, and James says, Well, what's his stance on social security? And don't ask, don't tell. And we were tuned out, and it was just like, Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that mean? It, it's, there's a whole thing about, like, you know, gays aren't allowed in the army. Like, it's a. Yeah, that's not. It's a political thing. Yeah, it's oh. not a thing anymore, but it was at the time, and. I, I think they're trying to make an implication about James through that, maybe. When Team Rocket comes out, that, that's that's the best part, is that they say... Well, they do the whole prepare for trouble, and then they say, HELLO MILWAUKEE! <laughs> <laughs> and because no one cheers, they make a whole bit out of it for like two minutes to force the audience into interacting. No. And for the rest of the play, no one responds. They do, no. they do what kind of Pokemon are you? Uh, the Pokedex is actually a black man who comes out and raps about it. No. Oh. <laughs> and when he says, "Would I say Poke? You say Mon. Poke, Poke." Uh, no. no one goes along with it, so they get into the audience. They start interviewing kids, saying, "Is your mom or dad a crabby?" My, my mom. <laughs> oh, your mom? <laughs> Are your friends a muck or a what was it? Slowpoke. A sl a slowbro or a muck? <laughs> <laughs> no. But the end of the show, the final song, like they, it's a big thing, everyone's out, and they all do a final pose. Dead silence for like 20 seconds. The lights just go out, and that's it. Christ. It's really hard to watch. Okay, Julian. Okay. <laughs> Is Ding Dong a Kangaskhan or or a Dragonite? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Should have did that. <laughs> you just grabbed the kid and shake <laughs> Stupid fucking! <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Are you a Dragonite? <laughs> 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 Please stop, she's a Kangas guy! <laughs> he just picks one to make oh, yeah. them stop. I'm good, that's all I wanted. He <laughs> takes his mother away. Are you- Takes his mother away! <laughs> Is your mother our dad a Krabby? <laughs> Mom! She's coming with us. <laughs> We're capturing your Pokemon mother. What if you just went up to a kid and was like- <laughs> They bring out a giant cage and put her in. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's the Yosh! Did yeah. they ever do that in Pokemon Gold and Silver? Is there ever a female Mr. Mime? Uh, no. That's Never Jinx. Existed. I think they're- are they genderless, or are they- Cause they're, Mr. Mime can have a baby with yeah, Jinx. Yeah, there's girl Mr. Mime. That's Jinx. Wait, there is a girl Mr. Mime? Yeah, there's a girl Mr. Mime. Is there? So, so there's a- so. Oh, there's, It's like a high percentage or something. They don't- they- Cause there's Mime Jr. 
Yeah, but, and, and that's because, oh, yeah, that's, that's true, because huh? they can have a baby, though. Yeah, Mr. Mime and Jinx can have a baby. They what can, about and the, they can have Smoochum. Jinx has like a pre evolved form, too. Yeah, Smoochum. Smoochum, yeah. So, I think there's just male Jinx. And then Mime Jr. and Smoochum can have a baby baby. A baby baby. <laughs> so what I'm asking though is, in Pokemon Gold Silver, can you have a female Mr. Mime? I'm not sure. I, I don't... feel I feel like they were genderless. I feel because there are some genderless Pokemon. There's a. Uh, I think they have genders. Like Something? Voltorb and Voltorb and Magnemite. Yeah. I know are genderless. Yeah, they're genderless. Look it up. I can't. I put my phone down. Oh yeah. Well, okay. We'll table never table know. Use we'll Just... never know. I like the I like the drum beat they add. I like that moment. Whoa, my favorite squirt. thing about this is that when you talk to people, you can vomit right on them while you're talking. It's pretty good. And they say, "Wow, thank you." He spins around. There we go. I fucking hate Toad. <laughs> they should make a game what? called. This is one of my nozzles. The stomach's talking to you. <laughs> they should make a game called Captain Toad. And he that's a treasure. That's a brilliant idea. That's a great idea, Chris. You should make it. What would it be about? Meow. Mm. What would Captain Code <laughs> look for? <laughs> he looked for the code Lyoko. <laughs> look for the codes. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Anyways, if anyone watch, wants to watch Pokemon Live, it's all on YouTube. I think it's an official we'll recording. Thunderbolts, a great electric attack, until you get ground down by a marrow. 